because when it comes to the Nuzlocke in Legends Arceus, I think we're doing pretty good, but it, you know, I did do some grinding off stream, so I think you guys will be happy to see that. Um, what did I do? Oh yeah, I mainly just leveled up our team a lot. Uh, I haven't evolved anyone because I want everyone in chat to be here for it when it happens. Um, but, well, let me talk about the worst part, right? Um, do you know how to evolve Stantler? You have to attack- oh my- I, I was gonna do it for the- for the video, so it can all come together, hold up. Also, do you see green outlay? I think I'm just gonna keep doing- change the color of the box to whatever shirt I'm wearing. Just because it all looks real consistent now. Isn't it use size shield bash? No, it's a little more than that. You have to do it 20 times uh, agile style, which means you get 5 PP for it and it can miss. Because, yeah. This is what you have to do. Just so everyone's aware, you have to use this move 20 times. But I think it's worth it. I, I think uh, that move gives them a defense up, and I think that's pretty good, right? Like, that's pretty good in a game like this when we're so scared of dying. Having, like, an increased defense is uh, very valuable. Uh, Zamazenta would actually get love in this game. <laughs> uh, okay, so, but we can evolve into Karma into Samurott, and that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I just evolved him in my other Legends RCSA file, but I never, I never really used them. And I think it's crazy. This guy looks relatively the same. It's kind of just like an alt palette. Hisuian Typhlosion, though. That's my dude. Oh, also, if we can get a Protector, we can get a Rhyperior, and that's pretty good. I think our main team is pretty diverse. Uh, we can kind of cover every option. But it's, it's really just all about finding that, um, finding the perfect team for every battle. You know, like, that's kind of what you're supposed to do. And not just Nuzlocke, but specifically this Nuzlocke. Um, yeah, Typhlosion is probably the coolest Hisuian form. Actually, it's not even close. Okay, so now we got our own Y-Deer. They're kissing. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot. We can uh, get these new encounters over here. Let me pull up my handy dandy spreadsheet real quick. Um, yeah, let's go over there. Um, oh, there is one other encounter. Uh, I did get one encounter off screen. But I did record it so it can go in the video. Uh, there was a STD that spawned, you know, a space-time distortion in uh, Cobalt Coast, Coastlands. And I caught a Kadabra, which is pretty good encounter. Um, definitely one I am uh, happy about, that's for sure. Because uh, Kadabra, physically frail, but of course, it's, Alakazam is fast as fuck. But I think we learned with Haunter... Uh, let's not bother using it until we get our, um, whatchamacallit, just our Alakazam. So, I think this island does not have its own encounter, but the monkey island does. Right? This is not a unique island. This is just, okay, yeah, it's part of the Windstruck run. Um, okay, so our first thing we see here that's not an alpha, because we cannot get alpha infernate. But I'm kind of hoping we find this Chimchar, because, uh... Alright, let me put it in the spreadsheet. I feel like such a nerd. Um, having spreadsheets and shit. What is this? Uh, Romana's... Romana's... Island. Why is it tiny in my spreadsheet? Um, and here we are going to... Uh, there's a lot of things we could get. Actually, no, there's not. <laughs> I'm just filling conversation. Okay. Uh, nothing over here. We already have a Drift Loon, so that encounter doesn't count. Um, 
There's a Chimchar. All right, there we go. There is our encounter for this area. We just have to catch him. And I don't think that's going to be a hard thing to do. Um, if I can just hit him in the back, at least. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just throw a little more. And then we'll just chain him. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, now I can't see him. Uh-oh. That was in the back. Uh-oh. Um... Did he... F no, okay, he didn't run away. Maybe he won't see me if I do this. Wow. Blind. Blind little Shimchar. Okay, do not anger that Infernape, though. That's the last thing I want to do. Um... For a heavy ball. This should work. That hurts. That one definitely hurts. Uh, Chimchark. Chimchark catch, right? Yeah. Uh, level 13. Nothing crazy. But it's good to have in the back, right? Oops. Uh, and that is every encounter in Obsidian Fieldlands. Officially done. Uh, chat, what are the rules? Uh, we're doing a Nuzlocke. And you can only get one Pokemon per, like route ish like they have sections that have names um because you see that was romanus island you can only get one in sand gym you can only get one in lake verity you know like you see what i mean and if you look at any given pokemon uh they'll tell you they'll say uh oh found at deadwood haunt you know so that's how you know which pokemon you caught where what are the nicknames uh they're all reddit themed um, there's still a lot of Pokemon that don't have nicknames yet, because we just haven't used them. Um, but yeah, we'll name them as we go. Because uh, you catch a lot of Pokemon in this game, and there's only so much Reddit in the world. Um, I upgrade... Oh, I forgot. I leveled him up. I leveled Jar up. I leveled... Copypasta can evolve now. Like, I got a lot of these to a place where they can evolve. So, that's good. That's cool. Um, I just kind of brought Skyrim because I thought we could use him. And I'm going to hold on to him now because we still have Sylveon in the back. We can actually use Cake Day now. Um, I saw a chat message that said, Kony having more viewers than Alpharad is blessed. That's, you have 300 messages? 300 messages just to get timed out for that? Oh, no, banned. No, timed out. I had mercy. But, I mean, good good for Kony, but like, good for Kony, I guess. Um, yeah. Twitch streaming is still pretty new to me, gotta keep in mind. Like, the YouTube platform definitely gives me a lot to like, leap off of, but it's still a new endeavor for me at the end of the day. Why not stream on YouTube with the Twitch drama? Because I don't care. The answer is because I don't care. I like Twitch as a streaming platform. I like having separate platforms to stream on and then upload on. It's really that simple for me. Uh, if Twitch fully implodes and it's like I'm making zero dollars off it and everyone's switching over, then yeah, I might go back to YouTube. But for the time being, it's just not something I care that much about. Alpha's podcast on break. Yeah, it'll get fixed eventually. Um, I don't know. I don't even release anything. And also, my stream has been going on for like 15 minutes. Like, people are still coming, okay? <laughs> the stream just started. Am I going to do Volo? Probably not. Uh, I think, like, we'll see. It might be something I do just for fun, but I its I don't think it's required for a Nuzlocke. But uh, if we feel like the end was too easy, we then we might go Volo. We'll see. I don't know. It's just hard, though, is the thing. It just feels unfair because you're fighting someone who has eight Pokemon and two of them are Giratina.
What happens if you white out? Uh, well, in, as per Nuzlocke rules, the run just ends. It's, ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, is this an Arita fight? Is this... Or is this... I, I need to make sure. This, uh... Pearl Settlement? No, that's not an Arita fight. Do we... Hmm. Volo is really easy when you're prepared. Yeah, probably. I guess I just have to find a Giratina answer. I guess it's probably just a dark Pokemon. I think Fairy Dark would be optimal, obviously, but that doesn't exist in this gen. Alright, now we need a Coronet High. High, yeah, Coronet Mountains. Let me update my spreadsheet to reflect this information. Oops. Um. I said Alan Ninetales. I know you meant Alolan, but it's really funny to put Alan. Just their name. Okay. Um, I got the Highlands. And... Alright. A whole batch of new encounters today. They could be anything. And then we still have uh, the Al Alabasta Icelands. <laughs> I always think it's One Piece. You destroyed Yawn in your video. It was fun. I mean, the thing is, Yawn's never not going to be upset about it. Even if he says he is on camera, it's just because he's going to get viewers for reacting to the reaction to the reaction. So, like, nobody's really upset about this. Okay, so this is um, the first area of somewhere. Okay, Heavenward Lockout. Oh, did you see it to say slash? That that was weird. Okay, uh, heaven word. What was that? I forgot what it said. Oh well. All right, there's Luxio. I mean, it's a Pokemon we already have. Golbat. We don't have a Zubat. Oh, I guess we don't, huh? Oh, he wasn't supposed to see me. Ow, ow. No, 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 you don't see anything. Where, where the fuck do you go? Trying to catch a Pokemon and dodge another? Not a simple task. Oh, I almost got his back. Oh, oh. Oh, nice, I caught it, okay. <laughs> That's... It's... Oh, whoa! Chandler! Thank you for the five gifted! Welcome to the stream! And a welcome to the... The, the subs! <laughs> five new people. Um... I'll probably do something soon. Like, once I get more into streaming, I'll fix the sub discord. I'll do sub incentives. I'll have a reason for subbing. So, uh, get in! Be a ground floor investor today! See? That's how you sell it. Uh, do you do tasks that aren't catching related? You have to catch Pokemon in this game. So, I just... The rules are, you can catch as many Pokemon as you need to, but you can't use them unless they're, like, your first encounter of the route. Yeah, you can do what Yon did. You know, he milked off my content for so long without subscribing to me, and hey, you're getting free content, so you could at least follow. Follow's the free one. Um, that number's been going up like crazy lately since I started streaming, and that brings me a lot of serotonin to see that number go up. How are you tracking which Pokemon you can and can't use? Um, here, let me, let me put it on. Oh, well, there it is. This is it. This is how I've been doing it. It's not, it's not like pretty, but it, it works, you know? Uh, so that's it. Uh, every time I think, I was like, oh, do I have this Pokemon? I just control F and be like, Zubat? No. So, that's it. Ugh. Why is STD there? Oh, that means I caught him in a space-time distortion. Ugh. 
First time watching the run, how is it going from one to one minus? I, I don't know what that means, but uh, it's going great. Thanks for asking. Am I planning to make a YouTube video? Yes. Uh, Wayward Cave, here we go. Wayward Cave. Uh, oh, I have to press A to enter. I thought you just walk in the cave. I forget how long and slow the intro is. Uh, I mean, we're like a few days into it. Uh, this is the fourth location. So the fact that we're still kind of in the tutorial is a lot. No way. No way we got a first time shadow that says your character looks like mine when I first played the game. First time shadow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Don't tell him, chat. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. <laughs> You should not, do, do not look at the chat from yesterday. Do not look at the chat from yesterday. Oh no. Whatever you do, do not read the chat from yesterday. Oh. Uh oh, there, there's bound to be one somewhere. Ignorance is bliss, trust me. You are in a much happier place if you do not read the chat yesterday. Uh, Alpha, is this the best Pokemon game? It's my favorite, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, like, is it the best one? I think it's the most unique, so that puts it up a lot. The best Pokemon game is high key, like, PMD2. Wherever we made it up to, uh, we are in the fourth location. Everything's going pretty smooth. I, I was scared of this Nuzlocke initially, but now I think it's, like, pretty easy. Uh, you just have to come a little bit prepared because every battle is, um, like, it, you just get revenge kill. Like, you have to go into every battle expecting to, to lose a Pokemon or two. Like, that's just how the game works. So if you expect to lose Pokemon in every single run, it's not that bad. Whoa, Jay Sherby, thank you for the five gifted... Today's been a, a big gift day. Oh, wait, Wayward Cave. We get a new encounter in here. Uh, it's not going to be Zubat because we just caught a Golbat. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, let's not leave yet. I know they have, like, Wish Cash. Oh, they have Gibble in here. Oh, wait. Gibble would be a huge encounter. Uh, that's Barboat. We already have one. Um, I know Gibble is in here somewhere. If we can find a Gibble, I'd be really happy. Getting Garchomp would be a nice start. I know he's in like a, a secret little hidden room. I think I have to go down here for it. Yeah, we already have Barboach. Um, yeah, Wish Cash is just an extension of Barboach for Dupes Claws. Crobats and Alpha doesn't count. Excuse me, excuse me, everybody. Um, does this just take me up here? Am I am I wrong? I could have sworn there was a gibble in here somewhere. Uh, I'll just keep looking around, because maybe I'm right. There it is, there it is, there it is. I might have to kill this crowbat first. Or just I mean golbat. Or just catch it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to kill it. Whoa! Space Lancer Jericho, thank for the 10 gifted. Jesus. Uh, I could, I think, like, I could turn the stream off today, and it's all, it's, like, more successful than yesterday. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, wait, I meant to strong, oh, I did strong style. Perfect. Yeah, it's a sub hour. The first hour of the stream where everybody turns up. Um, okay, let's throw this in here. Uh, Gibble's a pretty good encounter. I wish I could get, like, hit his back, but I just don't think that's really possible from the angle I have. Uh, I guess I'm really just going to sit here and keep throwing feather balls and just hope for the best. Okay, I don't have any apricots. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, buddy. All right. Oh, he's just a little unaware. Oh, okay. I can do that, too. It feels so bad when you break the little baby spine. Okay. Gibble. Ooh, level 23. Pretty low, but we can train him up 
uh, pretty quick. Meteorite, five gifted, Jesus. Uh, today is the money stream and Gibble stream. Gibble is the money guy to the moon. Gibble can be Wall Street bets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is Gibble the normal that bacons? No, no, he's Wall Street bets for sure. We're getting money when we got the Gibble. <sighs> okay, Gibble Street bets. Who's live stream fails? I don't know who live stream fails is. I think we'll know when we get there though. I'll give all monetary gain goes to Gibble. <laughs> so I still play Spelunky. I play with friends sometimes. Um, wait, where are we now? Oh, that was Heavenward Lookout. I'm not gonna put that, that's too long. Uh, these are, I don't know what location I'm in. Uh, I guess Heracross is the new one. Oh, who sees me? Who the fuck? Oh, that gold duck is running from downtown. Still, huh? Hey, Paris. Hey, everyone. Can we just be cool? Can we? I'm not hurting you guys. You guys don't need to hurt me. What area is this? Do we know? Oh, that wasn't even a catch. All right. Hey, sorry about that. I, I never want to break their back. That's always plan B. So I think we can all agree, like, that's the moral way to go about. Oh, my. Well, I, I guess some people just don't learn. Being paired poisoned is an absolute pain here. He has to stay in the ball. She has to. Oh, my God, please. Um, I can't get hit by anything. Paris, Paris, please. Uh, I get. I could do this. Um, I could throw one ball, go just see how it goes, and then just run away, rinse and repeat. That's not a bad strat. Oh, and it worked. Where are we though? I don't know where this current location is. I'm just, maybe, maybe that's not an encounter, but I'm going to say it was Heracross anyways. If I die, does the run end? Uh, there's an asterisk on that, but if I don't die, yes. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep going like nothing ever happened. Yeah, I wish I knew. Whenever we get to the new campsite, I'm just going to look at what his location was. Because that'll tell us. For sure. I'm um, getting all the resources I can. Never hurts to be prepared. Which zone is my favorite? Uh, I think the cold. I think the coast lens is probably the coolest one. More satchels. We need it just for link cables and stuff. Okay, uh, let me check. I know you fight Melly here. Melly, Legends, Arceus. Uh, what is, this is at Wayward Cave. This is, they have, just have one skun tank? Poison Dark. Hmm. What do I want to use? It only has Night Slash and Flamethrower, which is weird. These Pokemon builds are very strange. Um, uh, high key? I was going to say I could use Togekiss because it doesn't have anything strong against it, despite it being a poison type. Uh, I think this is probably the answer to throw out Rhyhorn. Uh, just use like a ground type move. Yeah, I think that's the play. Um, you know, just in case worse gets to worse, I'm going to heal Chonker. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just go into this with Rhyhorn. Uh, we can realistically solo this gun tank. It only has Night Slash and Flamethrower, so I'd be pretty surprised we lost. Do they have a Grass type? No, they quite literally only have one Skun tank. But just how the speed works in this game, you always have to be prepared. 
Have I Skyrim to turn back? No, not yet. Um. <sighs> yeah, I think I go. Do I go second? Yeah, nice flash isn't. There is a high crit chance on that. Oh, I go twice though. Uh, I'm just gonna bulldoze in a high horsepower, and then they die. Actually, high horsepower is a 95 chance of hitting. <laughs> Look, that it matters. You know, it absolutely matters. Take the guaranteed damage. If there's a 5% chance I miss, why would I take it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, no reason to risk the 5%. Definitely something I learned, though. <laughs> After the video today, that my whole nuzlocking journey has prepared me for situations like that. There is no reason to take unnecessary risk. I know it would be cool. Wait, Ancient Quarry? Um, Ancient... I like being up here. I can't. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god, he wants to come in so bad. <laughs> How are you going to hate from that side of the club? when? You oh my god, he's in. He's in, he's in, he's in. I didn't think he would go in. I thought there was like a wall for him. Okay, so I guess... Wait. Oh, cutscene first. Paris is... I hated him right after Legends Arceus came out, but now I think it's funny how angry the little guy is. Alpha, do you like streaming or making videos better? Uh, I mean, I like making videos more, of course, but it's like I like the post-production of editing and creating the video and everything. Recording the video is pretty hard for me, so that's why I like streaming to record the videos, because it makes it, like, worth it, you know? It adds something to it. Would you like a typical mainline game with lots of trainer battles, but using Legends battle system? I feel like I'd get annoyed at how revenge killing is prevalent. I'd like it just because the Nuzlocke would be interesting. Because I think this game is super interesting when you go into the battle saying, I have to lose Pokemon, but which Pokemon am I comfortable losing with? I think that's a super interesting strategy. You just have to balance it off with... Um, who, like, which Pokemon... Oh, hello. I'm gonna use all my spoiled Epicorns. This dude should absolutely stay in one ball. <sighs> okay, yep, there's one. There's another encounter. Uh, 32 Bronzor. Okay. And now we just escape. <laughs> no reason to do anything on this. I guess I could catch a Pokemon for XP. Um, nah. Nah, I don't want to waste any resources on it. Okay, where are we now? They're not doing a good job of telling me all these locations I'm in. Uh, I'm just going to have to check when we get to camp. Because this could be a new encounter. Okay, Sonorous Path. Got it. Sonorous Path. Uh, who? I think there's like... Ursa Ring is... Yeah, Teddy Ursa. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, oops. That's a little above the head, but it still counts. Alright, Teddy Ursa. Yeah. Uh, I guess better that it was Teddy Ursa, not like Ursa Ring, because it'd just be harder to catch. That's a pretty easy encounter. Yeah, I'm... This would have been a little harder to catch. I thought there was like Nose Pass or. Uh, I want to say Snow Steelix is later. Uh, Luxio's wouldn't have counted. We still have our Lux Ray. Um, there's Volo. Oh, we make the new camp here. I want the Acricorns, but I don't want to. What's going to be in here? It's going to be like Burmy or something. Ah, is it worth it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Wait, actually, I can just run away. Oh, it's Heracross. Ghost flying, they can't touch me. Yeah, see? <laughs> he just runs away. Do I allow shiny claws? Uh, I've never run into a shiny in one of my runs, but I would allow shiny claws, yeah. Yo, Rickles, what's up, man? <sighs> 
Um, find out what bronze ore wants. Hello. Oh, we have to go find the other bronze ore. That's right. Probably another encounter across the river, too. I know there's, like, gold ducks and whatnot over there. But I can at least get the one in the tree. Oh, I doubled. Yo, Jay Sherby. Oh, my God. Another five gifted. I feel like we've gotten a, roughly a million gifted subs. I think we're up, like, 300 subs since we started the Legends Arceus run, which is insane. It's, it's so crazy to me that if you stream more, you get money. <laughs> Your stream grows the more you stream. That's so insane. Who would have seen that coming? Oh. And there's 10 gifted. Well, I think... Uh, who knows? Would you guys have subbed if I, if I didn't stream today? I'm starting to think these things are related. You know, I, I don't want to... I don't want to be too confident just yet, though. We'll have to wait for further inspection, because no one knows for certain. Yeah, I do want to do um, subathon soon. Not soon, soon. Like, let me make sure I have like channel points. Let me make sure I have everything up and running, and then I want to start actually doing things. Oh, Lonely Spring though. This is a new encounter. Um, Lonely Spring. Oh my God! Hello. Wait, what? What item was that? Oh my God! Just get me out of here. Uh, I know there's Alpha Carnivine over here. Uh, I don't think there's like a new encounter here for me. It's just Golducks and Carnivines. I think I'm going to have to take uh, whatever Pokemon's in here. Oh god. <laughs> no, please don't start swimming. It's probably not going to be anything interesting. Cherubi. Okay. Sure, I guess. Sure, Ruby. Wasn't there a glitch in Vanilla Legends Arceus where, like, you could not catch specifically Cherubi? <laughs> because it was, like, the one of the last Pokemon I caught because I genuinely could not catch it. And then I saw that glitch was there, and it made so much more sense. I thought I was just insane and bad at the game for not being able to catch a goddamn Cherubi. Oh, it was Cherim? Yeah, same thing. Alright, uh, yeah, let me heal. I just evolved to get mine. Y yeah, but I think that's funny. <laughs> that it wasn't the case. Uh, okay, so you can see I have, like, a lot of items. Just because I did play a little bit off stream. So I got some, uh, items uh, brought to you by the STDs. Um, let me organize. We have all the stones. So we can definitely start evolving stuff. Um, I know, does Petalil, does that evolve into Lilligant with Shiny Stone or Dawnstone? I know Dawnstone is like Galade, but I don't remember anything. Um, I'm bad with stone evolutions that aren't like the main four. Ring, it's shiny? Yeah, I thought so too. Well, we can get Lilligant. And I think that's probably one of the better Pokemon we can get. So let me swap that out. I mean, it's grass fighting at the end of the day. Like, it's re it's really not that good if it's going to be quad weak. But it's... it's uh... We have Timchar. We, we have some guys. We always have Ponyta in sitting in the back right now. Um, I think Kadabra is still a good one. Here, wait. Let's name... Oh, let me go grab Gibble real quick. Let me grab all the ones we just got. Um... I'm going to move everything over to this box. I'm going to use these last two. Um, I like Gibble. I, I want to bring Gibble with me. Mm. I'll name him Wall Street Bats. Or should I name him To The Moon? I, I'm going to name him To The Moon. To The Moon... Uh, we can get nine tails. I think. I don't know if I want them now. I'm probably going to sub out. Uh, honestly, our starter for now. Just so, like, we can train Gibble a little bit more. Because, like, these two were kind of training. 
which is uh, our Y deer and Gibble. And I think that's fine. I don't know. Our starter's pretty high leveled. Uh, let's replace him with... No. No, we're fine. Oh, I didn't get the Petalo. Oh, well. I'll evolve it later. Y deer. How do you pronounce Y deer's name? Is it, is it not... Is it like... Is it... Don't tell me it's Ryder. Is it right here? Is it right here? That makes... That's probably what it is. Weird deer? Weird deer? Weird deer. Ah, I don't like that. Okay. Um... I think I've made it far enough in this run where I'm like pretty scared of like what if my switch crashes or something so I think I'm gonna save I think I'm just gonna turn auto save on because uh we're not resetting nearly as much as I thought we would so I, I am just gonna save here if we have to start a new game we start a new game oh wait oh wait wait, wait. what is this fight what is this fight Oh my god, I'm blanking on his name. Who's Mr. Subway Surfer since uh Sin Black White? Uh Subway. What's what's his name? Oh, Ingo. Ingo Legends Arceus. There we go. Um uh, in Legends Arceus. The first battle is okay. Ooh, he has three Pokemon. Okay, actually, let's go build a team specifically for this. Cause Having three Pokemon means we're going to have deaths. We're absolutely having deaths in this fight. Um, so he has... Here, let me... Uh, here, I'll put this on screen so you guys can see what we're preparing for. All right. There we go. Okay, so this is what we're trying to counter, okay? Okay. Um, hey, let me, let me talk. So, for Machoke, we need something that's psychic or flying, that it's fine if it dies to Tangula, but it's even better. I mean, honestly, uh, our Driflim, our Driflim is like, he has psychic, uh, the only move that Machoke hits is steel or is bullet punch. And then with Tangela, uh, we have myth, uh, Mystical Fire. But he that Tangela does have Ancient Power, which is... Okay, so we need a Psychic Pokemon, not a Flying-type Pokemon. Um, what do we have here? I guess we do have Golbat, who has... Yeah, you know what? We haven't invested in this Golbat yet. So I think uh, that's, a, that's a good Pokemon to invest into. Because uh, we need a name, though. What is the name of Golbat? I'm thinking. I'm just seeing uh, spam in chat, not seeing nicknames. Lad, they want lad. I guess we haven't just had a lad. We can we can just give give her a lad. Uh, okay. So I want to have like two Pokemon for each, just because that's how this works. Um, so the second Pokemon from a choke would probably, you know, if desperate times happen, let's throw in Kadabra, whose nickname, I just said I wasn't going to use them, but they're like a desperate times, call for desperate measures Pokemon. Uh, who, what is Kadabra's name? Thanks for the gold. Uh, <laughs> Edit, thanks for gold. Oh, wait, actually? High IQ? Oh, absolutely, it's high IQ. I do think we need to make one. Uh, who Who's one that we might use? Because I want to give it a funny name. Um, ah, 
I mean, honestly, we could use this Bronzor. Eh, it's pretty low leveled, actually. But it's not something we'd miss if it died. Um, Gibbles to the moon. Yeah, we should get an ice move, honestly. Ooh, so I want to throw out Luxray because they have Ice Fang, which is going to be super effective against Grass and, and then Quad against Ground Flying. Uh, I don't think... I just know Gastrodon can get an, an Ice move. I think... I'm pretty sure he can get Ice Beam. So I might go teach him Ice Beam. Just because it's going to be Quad. Gastrodon's definitely the guy to take against Gliscor and not Tangela. Um... Raymarade has Aurora Beam. Uh, I mean, maybe, but this is a level 21 Pokemon, so we'd have to grind quite a bit to get it there. Could go for Glacian. Drifblum can get Icy Wind. That's true. I'm just scared of, like, the Ancient Power. Drifblum's a pretty good Pokemon for all of this because it dodges a lot. It's just the Ancient Power that scares me. It's, like, such a good Pokemon, I don't know if I want to waste it. You know what I mean? I don't know if I want to throw it away just yet, because it has a pretty good moveset, and it's also just a ghost type, which is valuable. Chonker is the best chance for this, but I don't know if I want to burn one of our best Pokemon right now. Yeah, I mean, low base attack from Tangela. I think, I think I'm overthinking this. I think we all agree. Um... I'll do that. Teach some ice type moves. I'm going to bring Luxray as a backup. If worse gets to worse, I'll use them. And then the insurance. Uh, I'll bring Pony to Jar for Tangula, just in case. How many? So, yeah, let me go back, actually. Let me go teach some new moves. I know I'm probably over-preparing, but I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, worst case scenario, I lose. Worst case scenario, the run ends and everyone's sad, and we get a hundred more gifted subs for no good reason. Uh, but we're almost, not almost, but we'll probably be done with this star by the time we're done. How do I mark the Pokemon I get? Yeah. Yeah, I'm preparing for future stuff. That's that's the big thing. And also, I can... Um, um, I just lost something. Can... Oh, we can evolve Ponyta. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad because this shiny is so good and then it evolves and it's like... It's, it's okay. The evolution is okay. It's okay. I like the blue more. But we'll take it. Oh. Yeah, definitely not as good as Ponyta. I want new moves. Uh, Probably I want to give it to Gastrodon. Uh, Icy Wind. Is there an Ice Beam? No, just Icy Wind. Uh, Sludge Bomb's good coverage, but I think we're fine. Rest is not good. I mean, Rest is not bad, especially... It's pretty good in this game since it's drowsy and not sleep. Um, I'll probably... I might get it later, but I'll just get Icy Wind for now. Whoa, that's bright. And then, uh... For Drift Blim, Omnis Wind. I don't, I don't think I need it. Also good to know. I wish we had any flying move with him, though. That would have been nice. And then... I think that's it. I think that's all we needed. Let's just see what else we can get with Kadabra. Uh, Shadow Ball Dyson Gleam? Shit. <laughs> Energy Ball? Uh, maybe not Dazzling Gleam, but I might get Shadow Ball Energy Ball. That's pretty good. Try attack two. Wait, what's this? What moves do they have already? Air cutter, cross. No, that's the wrong one. Um, Psycho cut. Yeah, I'm gonna remove Psycho cut Zen headbutt. 
and recover because it's so physically frail. If it gets hit, it's probably dead anyways. Uh, yeah, I'll just give it energy ball. I'll just make it super offensive, super type coverage. I'll just give it all of that. And now we'll switch those moves out. Oops, I forgot that. Uh, I think this move set's fine. This is a Pokemon we don't really care if it dies, so might as well just keep it how it is, not waste money on it. Um, anything in here? Mystical Fire? No. Poison Jab? I'll take it for the coverage. That's pretty good. Okay, now we just gotta make sure we give the moves to everyone. Uh, I think Lad's fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess with Air Cutter, I, I'm gonna keep it how it is for now. It's not a great move set, but of course, it's, we just need them to live for now. Let's have the ball. That is in a very, <laughs> very offensive cadaver. Holy shit! Wow, and it works. Are there level caps in this run, or would that be too hard to determine? I'm not trying to over-level, but I think playing with level caps is just hard in a game like this. Because you really just don't know where anything is. I'm going to get Icy Wind for now. It's all 60, but I think that's fine. Pretty good type coverage all around. Uh... And then we wanted Icy Wind on this. I'll do Icy Wind instead of Shadow Ball because we won't be using it for this fight. Every other move we kind of plan on using. And then Chonker is fine. Jar, we just want to give him Poison Jab over probably uh, over Ember. Mystical Fire over. Oh wait, that's a that's a special move. Oops. Let me see, because Rapidash is a physical hitter, right? Yeah, I guess that's not like abysmal special attack, but I'll just, it's fine how it is. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty good team to solve this one problem. How many, I want to see how many good boy points I have. Lost and found? 745, how much is a link cable? Because if we can get... Um, oh, not trade Pokemon. Would I do a Soul Link with Yawn? 100%. After the Jaden, since I feel like that Soul Link started a lot of other Soul Links, but since I did that one with Jaden, I feel like it would be cheating if I did other Nuz other Soul Links. So I, and everyone's been asking me to do them, and I feel like a little bit of a whore. You know what I mean? A little bit of a Soul Link whore if I said yes to everybody, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Just because they're fun. It's a fun form of collaboration. Yeah, I, I I, would probably do one with Yon, though. That'd be funny. It's okay to be a Soul Link or Thank you. You could do a three-way soul, soul Link. Yeah, I guess you could. It just... It sounds less buddy-buddy. And I like the type rule where you can't have, like, two uh, primary types on any team. Um, okay, so... Again, I can remove this now. Oh, where's my mouse? Um, Machoke, Tangula. So they're going to open with Machoke. Let's throw in the most disposable Pokemon we have first, which is going to be Lad. And then if Lad does his job, he might be able to get some damage on Tangula. Then he'll probably die to Gliscor, and then we'll send in any Pokemon with an ice move. Probably no sleep, because they resist the most. Uh, two moves are immune to them, so it's only Aerial Ace or Poison Jab. Yeah, we might only need two Pokemon for this. Uh, honestly, we sack one Pokemon in this, maybe two. Gliscor solos? I, you know what? Also possible. Yeah, that's why I'm so scared about sitting in Luxray, because it's a super strong high base attack Ice Fang. And it's quad effective, but it's also super weak to stab Mud Bomb. Yeesh. Did I get bored Splatoon? No, I was playing Splatoon earlier today. I like that game. I just haven't streamed it because I wanted to play this. And I get tunnel vision. I'm not good at like playing one thing one day and one thing the next. I want to play everything to the end. 
All right, here comes Ingo's Machoke. Um, I like the prep that we're doing. I think it's showing a lot of growth over the years. Um, air Cutter. Uh, air Slash. Uh, okay, this doesn't change anything. It does change anything if he does speed. Uh, okay, but I'm fine with him dying, right? I might as well just... I'm just going to hit the heavy, the hardest, heaviest, strongest hit I can. If it kills, it kills. If it doesn't... Crit mattered. I think crit mattered. Actually, crit mattered. Get outplayed. All right. And now uh, we get Ancient Powered by Tangela. Or Stun Spore. Okay. Okay. Throwing. Throwing. Crit matter. Oh my god. Wait, I actually I need to protect this gold bat. Never mind. It can't die. It can't die. He knows too much. Oh my god, he knows too much. Uh this quick attack though, not too bad. Double quick attack. Triple qu What? Okay, well, I don't think <laughs> Holy Okay. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Damn. They took him out with precision. That was a triple hit right there. Oh, we get double ice wind though. That so we're gonna avenge Crobat's I mean oh, we're gonna avenge Colbat. Colbat Golbat. Oh <laughs> but getting triple hit? Oh that feels bad. That feels really bad. <laughs> Praise be to the martyr. Yeah, there was literally nothing I could do. Golbat did his job. I think that was the best sacrifice we've had in the entire run. That was beautiful. It was tragic. And hopefully, <laughs> he's living happy on the other side. Oh, and now I get awkward puberty Pokemon, Sneasler. Ah. <sighs> God, I hate this thing. Sneasler just makes me think of the Onceler. And the, the fact that the names are similar doesn't... In the right timeline, this would have been a Tumblr Sexy Man. And I hate that. But you know I'm right. You know? You know what I mean? It's unfortunate. But you know it's true. Oh, she can't be a sexy man. She can. She's female. But don't you realize that's what they want? <laughs> that's what they want. <sighs> What's my least favorite historian form? It's not a form, but probably Sneasler. No, actually, Enamorous is my least favorite. God, seeing the front perspective of Reddit boy, he looks like a Reddit boy. Holy. Okay, well, let's go drop off our Golbat. What a lad. You know what? No. What a mad lad. Oh, so tragic. So absolutely tragic. <sighs> Farewell. Farewell to the lad. Another one bites the dust. Okay, well now we can take our pretty diverse team, bring Rhydon back. Uh, Samurott. I kind of like the team we have now. It's pretty balanced. The only thing that scares me is having uh, Kadabra out and losing it before it's an Alakazam. But uh, not the end of the world. It's just that'd be a nice in-game Pokemon. No, I talked myself into it. It's a nice in-game Pokemon. We should be safe. Um, I'm gonna swap it with, um, double water type, but oh well. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it this way. Also, I should change the moves, because I know it has Ceaseless Edge. This is probably its new move, right? I assume that's gonna be its, uh, signature move. I'm gonna get rid of Aqua Jet. Uh, Aqua Tail, 90 accuracy, but I can use it. 
for Dark Pulse. It's a, it's a physical attacker. I don't want to give it Dark Pulse. Uh, Air Lays never misses, but Slash has high crit chance. Swords Dance. Nice Slash. There we go. That's what we need. Ah, uh, wait. Why would I get both of those? Uh, this move is essentially slightly... Oh, wait. Nice Slash is better than the signature move. Wait, I don't know. Actually, that's like a... A Legends RC, a Stealth Rock. Ooh, that's good. Night Slash is also good. I might take both. Let's just have them. I might put Aqua Tail in, actually. Aqua Jet. Just because it's like, it's quick attack, right? So it helps with speed. Yeah, I'm going to do this. That's going to be the moveset for Karma. Yeah, the fact that Strong Style increases accuracy is going to be fine. All right. Yep, yeah, we're good. God, I'm shocked at the planning. You know you know what I mean? This is... <laughs> the most chaotic game is somehow the one I planned for. Yeah, because it would have been really easy just to lose everything. Sneeze, sneeze are so awkward. Do not like this dude at all. Yeah, I am sneezing out of my goddamn mind right now. Oh, Clamber Claw Cliffs. And here's a new body. Ground flying is a good typing. I mean, lander is T, baby. Sneaking up. The master of stealth. The epitome, dare I say. What, what was what is this place called? It was like called Clamber Claw. I don't know. Gligar, though. Caught it. Uh, and where did... Oh, there it is. Clamber Claw Cliffs. These names are getting long. They barely fit in my spreadsheet. We can now release it for revenge for taking Lad away from us. It's shocking what happens in Nuzlocke's because it's like, it's always the Pokemon who have a short life that somehow make the biggest impact, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Graveler. This is... I know there's another, like, Gibble and all that up. Ooh, I should have gotten... Whatchamacallit? Uh, Gibble, just to train him. Yeah, that would have been good. I mean, I can just train him later if we really need it. Uh, I know this is a new location, right? No? Okay. I thought it would be. This one is, though. This is, uh, Celestica Ruin. Celestica Ruins. Uh, nose pass, I guess. We'll see if I can sneak up on this one. Oh. I, th I didn't think he would turn around. Well, now he can't. Reddit boy tea bags, absolutely Reddit boy tea bags. Uh, level forty, I mean thirty nine. That's pretty good. Uh, I would love to get a protector from an STD. I guess that's not normally how it works, <laughs> but in this game it is. Okay, where am I going though? Just straight forward. Uh, I could try to get the. I'm gonna try and get the satchels first though. Dan reacted to your reaction to his reactions. Already? Really? He already did that? Damn, he was hungry for those views, huh? <laughs> he did not even hesitate. Is he sub to me at least? Can someone tell me did he sub to me at the end of the day? Oh my god, am I about to react to his reaction of my reaction of his reaction? I don't think he's live. No, no way he reacted to it. He's like out of, he's in like in America right now. I was like, I do not think he is streaming. No, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I would be impressed if he was already on that grind, but it would be funny. I am excited to see what he said. Uh, wait, this is a new area. Uh, what was it? Sacred Plaza. Haunter already have Chingling. Riparior. Oh god. 
Um, go get the food, buddy. I'm scared to climb up this, because sometimes if you climb up things, it makes a noise and it startles Pokemon. So I'm just going to try and uh, just bang the shot from downtown. Huh. That's in. That has to be in. Threw another one. Ooh, level 54! Whoa! That, that is a beefy Chingling. Dear God. That is the highest level Pokemon we have, and it is motherfucking Chingling. <laughs> That is, that is a strong boy, strong lad. Okay, wait, where is this sash? Oh, I see it. Okay, if we can just get a few more, we can actually get the link cable. And then we can get our Alakazam, which is going to be pretty good. Name it Chime Echo, name it, or get Chime Echo, name it Notification. I feel like I name him exclamation mark remind me. I still want to name one Edit Colon. That's still on my list of names. Uh, I know there's other satchels. Eh, oh well. I'll just play the game now. This might be a new area, but I know it's just like Voltors and shit. No? Nothing? Oh, this is still Sacred Plaza. Got it. Would have loved Rotom. No reason. I just like Rotom. Not even thinking about like the benefits he has as like a fighter. I just really like that guy. Okay, so now we gotta fight Electrode. Uh, I don't think we fight Melly again, right? Oh wow, we do fight Melly again. Oh wait, oh she has three Pokemon here. Okay. Ah, uh, I came all the way over here just to have to go back. Uh, okay. 3v1. Uh, everything. Okay, let's build a team we don't mind losing. Okay, okay. Her team is... Yeah, I'll put it back on screen. Uh, yeah, it's this. So, pretty bad move coverage, honestly. Uh, so let's take it one by one. Our, the ace in the hole for us, or ace in the sleeve, is going to be Ratio. Uh, because he's super high leveled, and he counters everything. Uh, ground is strong against half of them, or ground is strong against two of them, rock is strong against the other two. I mean, Skaroopy just dies. We really only need to worry about Skuntank, but I'm just saying it's still possible to die. So it's a 3v1, keep in mind. Like, the 3v1 is hard. So I don't want to lead with Ratio, because he's, you know, he's a good Mon we have, and we could lose him. Uh, we don't want to throw anything Psychic out there, even though it's all a Poison team, just because they all have Dark moves, and, you know, most Psychic Pokemon can be, like, physically frail, especially Kadabra. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Um, uh, don't want to throw... I mean, honestly, even though they're dark type, we could throw fairy in there because there are no poison moves. But yeah, just what would we hit them with? I guess if we, uh, if no, it's not worth it. Oh, actually, no, you're right. Scroopy has Venishock. I I just completely missed that. Uh, oh, we also have this. Does let me see. Close combat, maybe. Uh, Rock Smash? No, it's not worth it. Uh, we could just throw in a Martyr here of Heracross. We, we're probably not taking Heracross in the late game. So we could just double edge into it, use its high attack power, and just double edge until it dies. Because Poison does resist fighting. Uh, we could use Bronze, or we could sack it and use Hypnosis on something. No, it's just drowsy. That's not sleep. Um, I like I like running in with Heracross. He he's the last edit to our team that we need for this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just Heracross is our sack. Uh, Gust destroys here. I mean, I guess Aerial Ace kills Skaroopy. Uh, I really think just double edging. I don't like saying double edging, 
But uh, we can double edge uh, Skuntank. If it dies, it dies. That's fine. And then uh, we can bulldoze on Skuntank. Worst case scenario. And then I think that level 22 should be able to take out Updoot. I mean, honestly, the team we have here is good. Like, the team we have can beat them. I just don't want to risk it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we could honestly use some of our weaker Pokemon here. Like, Teddy Ursa is level 29 and probably never getting put on the team. And if we can just kill the Skuntank, we can switch into Teddy Ursa and pretty much start fighting. Yeah, that's a good idea to start utilizing the weaker Pokemon is use them for these shitters. Uh, yeah, like, uh, we, we can, we can throw Apom in there. Who cares? We can throw Volpix in there. We can even make him Ninetales. And then we have Ratio in the back just to be absolutely safe. And, uh, if worse gets to worse, we'll, we'll throw in, uh, no, I'm going to take one more strong Pokemon. I'm going to sub out Apom for... Oh, Gligar? Actually, true. I can bring in the new lads. Yeah, I could bring Gligar in. That's a pretty good one. I just forgot we had that. We have the level 54 Chingling, by the way. That's also an option. Uh, nose pads is pretty good. Rock slide. Oh, honestly, all the new mons we got are pretty good here. Uh, what other? If he can learn a ground move, he's going on the team. No, that makes sense. That's fine. He might still go on the team. Um. Yeah, I'll keep the Teddy Ursa here as a sack alternate. But I think this team team gets it. Um. Teddy Ursa is not meant to go long. <laughs> and then uh, Nose Pass is... I'll just name Nose Pass, remind me. <sighs> okay. So... Hmm. Oh, and Gligar needs a name. What's Gligar's name? Nose Pass is the Moe. I, do, I don't have that emoji on my... I can. I can, though. Mm. Name it Lesser Lad. Yeah. N not much of a Reddit thing, but more of a... We're building our own lore here. Okay. And then we can evolve them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this works. This works, definitely. Now let's get... Oh, we already have one. Awesome. Oh, this works out great. I named it Lesser Lead. Well, we're... <laughs> Accidents happen. We're keeping it. No mistakes in this house. All right, we got our own Gliscor. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we get a Probo Pass here. We'll take it. <sighs> if Gliscor dies, I'm unfollowing. Hey, it's, they're here to die. That's what the run's all about. Um, so these are the ones we're protecting. Uh, these are, like, if worst gets to worst. Uh, and then everything else is disposable. Like, if we lose four Pokemon in this, that's a win for us. We don't have to, but just realize if we do, that's perfectly okay. Maybe get one level on Teddy Ursa. Oh, just so it becomes Ursa Ring. Uh, if it's one level away, sure. But again, it's still our sack Pokemon, so at the end of the day... Not too concerned. I'll just get some material. Oh, hello. 
Celestica Trail. We, we already got a Pokemon here, right? No, we have not. Um, and it's Onyx. Celestica... Oops, can't spell. Trail. Um, Onyx, maybe. Oh, who? Who the fuck? Excuse me, Chingling. Chingling be cool. Chingling be cool. Oh my god, Chingling is like the security guard. Chingling alerts everyone. That's so cool. Oh my god, Onyx, be... Okay. I mean, it makes sense, right? Oh, I didn't know where Onyx's back was. All right, we got it. Level 44 Onyx? Wait, hold up. Hold up. That Onyx might actually... Be... Okay. No. No. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here after everything I've learned and tell you that Onyx is useful. <laughs> but Steelix, though. True. Steelix. I mean, I think... Like, how the game works for me is it's like Virgin Sneasler and, like, Chad Skyrim Horse. Just, you can get up anything you want. It's just a matter of how determined you are in this game. Hello. Sacred Claws, I've been here. This is where we got our massive Chingling. I don't, I don't feel, feel like we should even evolve the Chingling. Just keep it small. Okay, so what do we want to lead here with? Uh, yeah, Heracross is our most disposable one. But let's... Uh, let's just catch some Pokemon real quick. Just to, like... Uh, get some XP. Because you can be real generous with stuff like this. And then maybe Rotom from downtown. Uh, level 42. It doesn't matter. We're not catching that one. Uh, no, they don't see me. They thought they did. They saw something. I know we can probably get another encounter down here. If this... It's mischievous if this changes. But I don't know if it does. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. I probably should have thrown something down. I mean, I don't know if we're like actively use Mischievous, but having a ghost type is always like a good gambit. And bada boom. What was this place called again? Stone Tooth Rose. Mistr I do not know how to spell that Pokemon's name. Show me. Show me, please. Miss Drevis. Oh, gotcha. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the subs. Lots of subs. Uh, you're just coming into uh, another moment of just some planning, some preparation. Uh, I think we're going to try and turn this Teddy Ursa into an Ursa Ring real quick. We don't really need to, but it's more just like a... Just to give him a fighting chance. Look at him. Really? From two downtown? That one's fine, though. That should be enough, right? Alright. Uh, now we can evolve him. Not right now, though. Or now. But now. Ghost type won't die, right? The thing about ghost... Oh, wait. I just realized the spreadsheet was on screen the whole time. Oh, no way. Did you see me? Wait. Oh, thank God. You couldn't see how I can't spell. Thank God. Whew. Wait, Brayden showed up. <laughs> As I mentioned Onyx. Oh, hi, Brayden. Welcome to the Legends Arceus Nuzlocke. I almost brought Onyx for this bug team, and then I was like, you know what? You know what? I think I've learned from from the years. I think I've learned. Onyx is just sitting in the box for now. It might be switch fodder, because you definitely need switch fodder in this game. 
I think Onyx could do it in this game. Trust. Okay. How are you not VIP here? Um, but it's just in this Nuzlocke brain, highly suggest you do a Nuzlocke of this because I think it's mad fun and interesting. It's way different than other Nuzlocks because you go into every fight expecting to lose like a few Pokemon. And I think it's really cool to have Pokemon just to sacrifice. Like sometimes I'll bring low level Pokemon just to get a, queen, a clean switch into. And I think that's really neat. Onyx is actually goaded in EK. That makes sense. I can see how Onyx is goaded in EK. Isn't Emerald Kaizo updated? So doesn't Sturdy actually work now? This, this run was a lot scarier on paper, but it's not that bad in person. But stuff like this, where you have three Pokemon you have to fight. All right, uh, I die here. I, I do die here, but that's okay. Uh, see, this Pokemon was just meant to die. So, we're just going to double edge into Skun Tank. We're going to kill ourselves with our... Um, whoa, that crit mattered. Honestly, maximum value from that Heracross there. Uh, so now we just send in some Switch Fodder. Ursarang is fine. If it dies, it dies. Uh, no one wants to hit him, though. Which is... Pretty... He took it. He took the hit. Damn. Wait. If he... Uh... This doesn't actually speed anything up. Ah, you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine if... I'm gonna go for it. I'll just do strong style. It's an 07 to Ursa rank. But that's the beauty of it. It's a fodder team. This was meant to happen. And who knows? They might not hit him. Okay, they did hit him. But they thought about it for a long time. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so we don't have to use any of our strong Pokemon. We just did another successful just fodder team. And it worked. Yeah. Sure. Alright, that was a preventable death. It was, but who cares? Like, why run the risk of uh, killing someone else? Like, we all agree, we don't need that Ursa Ring. How many deaths? Don't know, don't care. It's been a lot, but we've been sacrificing intentionally. Did Gliscor die? No, they didn't even get a chance to fight. Oh, so now we have to go make an Electro team, though. Oh, wait. Don't we have to do... What's a side mission? Hard cut, new character. Every single cutscene. I think they could improve the battle system for next... Make next Legends Arceus. Or next Legends game really good. I think next Legends game is going to be peak. This is such a good framework for a video game. It's so fun. This stop being about forming bonds with the Pokemon instead some Yu-Gi-Oh shit. Yeah, it's Legends Arceus is such a fodder based game. You really do just make teams to die and it's good. Your character looks like he exclusively uses the art phone for Reddit. You must be new here. <laughs> you must be new here. Because uh, that is uh, quite literally what we were going for. Oh, I come back. I got gifted. T.Y. Kind Stranger. Yeah, every time you get gifted a sub, be sure to thank the Kind Stranger. <laughs> Please do. Um, it's just karma. It's how it works. Um, okay, so just two releases. Uh, get rid of Ursaring. 07. Get rid of Edit. <laughs> edit, um, colon, update, colon, uh, he's dead. All right. And now we need an Electro team. He is Grass Electric. So fire, Fire's good. Again, none of these Pokemon should die because they're only going to get like one hit in and then we move on. Uh, I'll bring in Rapidash. 
Uh, we need fire. We need fire. We need ground. We need fire, ground. Uh, ice works. And I'll bring Gastrodon. Uh, I'll probably bring Driftlim. And then Chonker's good because he resists electric and then he also has Ice Fang. Uh, Chimchar wouldn't be bad, but I'm not going to invest in Chimchar just yet. None of these Pokemon are going to die, though, so it's not too, too scary. I, need, I do need to work on the... I think I'm going to start training the Gibble and the Chimchar. I think those would be good Pokemon to have in the back. Don't bring Drifflim, use Roselia instead. I mean, the thing is, Roselia is 25, and these Pokemon realistically should not die. I can bring Togekiss. I can use... No, no, no. Uh, I can focus on the grass type. Ba -ba -ba. Use Gastro for pivoting? Hell no. I do not even want to... I don't think you can pivot in this game. I think they decide what to do after you make your move, because, you know, that's... We don't get our turn until their turn goes. I don't know if you can pivot in this game. Um, ooh, who else? I can use Leech Life from Duskull. Uh, he's 37. You know what? I, I might take him. I can evolve him too. All right, here's a Dusclops. Oh, wait, do we have a... Duckdoor? Do I, I think I might have the thing. Let me check. Chimchar and Gibble, average Sinnoh team. I mean, we also have the Luxray too, so <laughs> we have everything. Um. Yeah, wait. Oh no, that's for the whatchamaguy, the uh, Cleaver? Oh, we have XL Candy? Oh, didn't know we had that. I want the orange berries back, actually. Uh, yeah. We we have Togekiss. Uh, I don't want to use Togekiss because you know electricity, and he's also flying type. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna keep it in the box and then just like give it to a Pokemon I'm training. It'd be like a good thing to give to Gibble or something. Okay, uh, it's nothing crazy. I mean, we'd probably, God, I don't even want to use this. Grass Electric's a pretty good typing. Now that I'm realizing it, it's pretty good. It covers a lot. Um, Gliscor's good here. Mud Bomb would be good. Right on is bad here. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm realizing. I think I just got so focused on the electric typing where I just forgot about the, the grass typing. Um, yeah, grass electric is really good now that I'm realizing it. I might bring this. It's a little weaker, but it has poison, which is decent. And it doesn't have like the water type weakness. Any grass type goes well here. Uh, I mean, grass poison would be really good here. Grass fighting, uh, no. Roselia, we do have Roselia, but it's level 25. We're not gonna get anything good in there. Uh, cool. Gibble would honestly be really good. I might bring Gibble just for the XP. Uh, and I'll, I might give him this. Just to see how far it goes. Wow, to the moon! <laughs> to the moon! Oh, okay. Now we got our goodbye. Not bad, not bad. Uh, when you fight these Pokemon, it's really not that bad because we're only going to throw Pokemon in for like a few moves. They really only have to tank one attack and then they're going to be okay. Uh, save Gibble for later. No, I'm not going to use Gibble. I'm just going to train him. Like, I just want him to get this XP. Honestly, I'm going to bring this Chingling because it's strong as fuck. 
Um, Chingling is remind me. 100% it is. Yeah, absolutely it's remind me. Uh, let me look at its moveset, though. Uh, Ominous Wind. Uh, I just want to give that to it because it's a good move. And... Yeah, nothing crazy here. Probably want to rotate its moves because I never like Hypnosis being like the top move because I'll accidentally use it. There we go. Yeah, why does Chingling have double edge? Honest question. Uh, Fire's good here. Probably. I don't know what Electrode has. Drift Blim. The fire is good, but it's the fact I keep forgetting that it's also an electric type. So I could just get die there. Luxray is going to be pretty decent. Honestly, it might be a Luxray day. I'm going to lead with Gliscor though, because they are... If, if we lose them, that's fine, because they are probably going to get their most value in this fight. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's probably better to bring resistance. Gliscor's neutral to grass. Yeah, exactly. It's neutral to grass and uh, immune to electricity. Hello. Yeah, fire ground. Camera would have gone crazy here. Look at all the little guys. And then this guy, who's upside down. God, all the noble fights, I'm pretty pretty nervous for. Hands are sweaty. Okay. Yeah, this one's, this one's just a little bit annoying, because you have to, like... You have to just keep running. You just have to keep running. All right, you have to keep running. I I always did like this. Oh, it well, it worked in my memory. Maybe that's not what you do. I could have sworn. I could have sworn that's what I did. I'll just throw one when I get a chance. I'll just nip at him. I'll be the mosquito. It's just Tracer and Overwatch. You just do a little eh, and then you keep moving on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, that, that was an unfortunate combo. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's let's lose this. Okay. Don't love what's going on right now, but I think we can throw in a Pokemon after this, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how this goes. All right. Oh. He's level 46. Jeez. Energy ball. Ow. Okay, I can do weak mud ball, mud bomb into strong mud bomb. And I feel like this will probably stun him. The obscure might help. Poison jab's super effective, though. Wait, okay, let me do calc. Jab plus... No, Poison Jab does more damage, but if this is 80... Yeah, okay, Poison Jab is the play. Swap? No. No way. No way. You guys are scared. You guys are absolutely scared. Alright, and now we run. Oh my god, he just... He landed on me. That one's brutal. Ooh. Okay, halfway there though. Not bad. Does my health go away? Can I can I please heal? No, not not today. Okay, we're gonna play this game. I think I'm just gonna be real passive here. Uh-oh. 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 
Okay, okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll play that game. Is he exploding? Perfect. Perfect. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. You want to see me out of it first, though. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, not lesser lad, but I'm going to send in... Uh, uh, I guess... Lux whoa, whoa! What the... F I was too slow? I just missed it? I was thinking. I was thinking. Oh, no. That's fine. It's fine. We're going to be here a minute. Uh-oh. Woo! When, when you got to roll, it's a little scary. This, this boss fight, I wouldn't call it hard. I would just call it annoying. Oh, my thumb is starting to slip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, see, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, and we've decided we're going to throw in Chonker. Because we're probably just going to get hit by an energy ball again. Oh, let's not walk in there now. <laughs> okay. <sighs> we just have to live one energy ball. That's it. Uh-oh. We're not going to lose Conker here, are we? Because we can't live another. This is not going to... Oko, right? Is it worth it? Hmm. Yeah, Agile... We can do Thunder Fang into Ice Fang, but I don't think... Huh. I can't do Agile Ice Fang. The move's not mastered. Yeah, Thunder Fang is four times weak. Agile Crunch doesn't help. It could free... Yeah, who knows? It might get Frostbite. Uh... Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. This isn't a fight we have to do. I'll be honest, we just did not bring a very good team. Uh, because Rapid Dash. I'll, I'll try Rapid Dash next. Because if we throw them in, they can probably live uh, whatever Electric Attack he's going to do. And then we can probably get a two hit in with Rapid Dash. I, I would imagine. I'll try that next. Ooh, hello. Scared me. That noise is always going to be terrifying. Okay. Don't wa don't walk into it. Don't walk into it. Just throwing rapid dash. Whoa, whoa, we're throwing rapid dash. What the fuck? Where's where's my health reset? Please, please let my health reset. What the fuck? Okay. Whoa! Okay, I'm just gonna keep running. Oh my god, I'm I'm getting scared now. We we've lost we've wasted two throws. Like two times we could have attacked him and we just didn't. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. Okay. This is going to explode, and then we just run, and then those electric balls go away, and we just throw them in. <sighs> Health does not reset during boss fights. Good to know. Okay, so he's going to Thunder Wave. That's fun. That's really fun. Well, I didn't... Um... Uh, so it's going to be 90 base. This is... 
I think I'm just gonna normal flame wheel and then live an attack and then strong. I should just strong. I should just done strong. Hog. Uh, I'm gonna do agile flame wheel. All right, all right, that's good. That's good. Oh. God, I am very nervous. Okay, so I just have to survive one more round. One more round. That's it. That's it. Okay, just don't look. Just don't look. Just don't look. Just don't look. It's all fine. It's all fine. Just keep running in circles. They can't hurt you now. Watch out for the bombs. Watch out for the bombs. Woo! Woo! That one spawned outside. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. I just need him to start exploding. What the fuck was that? What the? Okay. Alright. Alright. GG's. God, if we had a heart rate monitor for this one. Oh. Oh my god. And we lost the paralysis, which is good. He might thunder wave again. Or just thunder. Okay, well, now we know strong style flame wheel would have just killed last time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh sh Oh my god. Oh. Gosh. Just, just a little nervous. Oh my god. Holy shit, that was close. Oh, fuck. Another deathless boss fight, though. Yeah, the run could have ended there. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Did I lose any Pokemon? I've lost Pokemon in this run for sure. But uh, not in a boss fight. I have not. Oh. Here, wait a sec. Is something wrong with my chair? little insane. I thought it was leaning because I sit asymmetrically all the time. Wait, for how long has Alpha been active on Twitch? Uh, I got partner on July 1st with Cup Pong, and that was it. And then I haven't really streamed regularly because I was traveling and then I was moving. And uh, I streamed for the past three days and I think I'm going to start trying to stream regularly. I'll get a schedule out eventually, but for now it's pretty whenever, but it's frequent. It is frequent. Um, Alpha, if you never die in the field, will you just claim in the video that you had to restart the whole run just to raise the stakes? 100% yes. Yeah, I, I've said that before. That is the plan, and it's been the plan from the start. And oh my god. Holy. Let me just. Oh, that was too close oh dear god that was close oh <sighs> jesus christ that was close oh Blech. 
I didn't know that boss that health doesn't heal in uh, boss fights. Oh wait, isn't there a new area over here? Uh, Lux Ray. Oh, Cloud Cap Pass. Okay. Um, throw a berry with one hell of an arm. He doesn't see me. I'm in the shade. He doesn't see me. Okay. Hello? Oh, I thought he was just gonna go get the berry. He's like, this shit's mine. Bro, you throw this at me. Uh-oh. God, dodging electric ball scares me. Uh, this probably... It's gonna be like a pretty good catch if we catch him. Uh, all right. Woo. Okay. Fifty-six Electra Buzz. That is value. We honestly could have used that for the last game. <laughs> it, it would not have hurt. And what is this? Cloud Cat Pass. Okay. Cloud Cat Pass. I bet Alpha can't find Shiny Zora. Uh, yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> I'm not looking for that shit. Okay, there should be a satchel down here. Somewhere near all the Gligars. And the Machokes just hanging out. Just, just lifting. And then there's one over here. I'll just warp though. Hisuian Shiny Zorark is crazy. Absolutely. I think that's genuinely one of the best Shinies in the game. Like in all of Pokemon. Alright, let's see. We might be able to get an Alakazam now. I think so. Uh, Yeah, yeah we can. We just have to go buy a Link Cable. How far would you say I am? Uh, so there's five areas and then, uh, the epilogue, if you will. But I would say, like, like the, the final act, the finale. I would say this is, we just finished the fourth area, so we're going into the fifth. And then the finale. Will you be doing another Twitch play soon? Uh, I said I do. Our, our crystal save file will go back to Johto on uh whenever i hit three mil i think was what we said this isn't the end game but shortly before that yeah yeah we're we're getting there um actually let's go rearrange our box just so we can have everything in one place yeah three mil soon uh believe it or not subs have been growing i mean you guys saw the channel like we definitely had a slower uh like two years and now that i'm actually uploading again it's crazy that the content the subs are going it's crazy how all these things are related you know you ever think about that it's insane to me uh so now i, I like the team we have oh wait let me go get cadabra alakazam i know this is like obvious but the abracadabra alakazam is such a simple naming convention but it makes me so endlessly happy. Oh, you miss Babu? Yeah, Toasty, I saw your drawing of the, of Babu. I wanted to post. I had on my Pokemon Go, one of the first mobs I caught was Babu when I got really back into it. And, well, Hopip, and I called it Babu. Um, where did I come here to get? Link Cable. That's right. All right. And now we're going to use it. Oh, Alakazam, prep for late game, pretty good. Actually, I know we're not doing Volo, but I want to see what Volo's team is, just so I can kind of, like, plan accordingly. So I know it's Cynthia's, but I want to look at it. Isn't it weird how his Arcanine doesn't have, like, four moves? It only has three for whatever reason. Um, I mean, I have a Fairy type for Spirit Tomb. Um, and then Spirit Tomb, and then Fairy type would also be good on Giratina. Um, but if you throw the Fairy type out, then Roserade comes out. Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it later. Pokemon Snap Nuzlocke. Uh, I'm interested. What does, what does that look like to you? What's the end goal for this run? Uh, make it to credits without wiping. That's it. 
Uh, I don't think we... We still need to grind a little bit to get the... The Pokemon thing. I mean, the Pokedex thing. Uh, I don't know how much we have. I know we were pretty close before we started all the story stuff, so I feel like it won't take too, too long before we go to the Icelands. How many deaths have happened? A lot. This is a game where you have to prepare for Pokemon to die. Um, did you know that if a strong Agile style attack missed, the speed lost or gain will not happen? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I just kind of assumed that if the move doesn't happen. But I, I pretty much only like to use Agile on high accuracy moves or strong style. Well, strong style makes moves more accurate, so I do that a lot. Oh. Give me a cut skip cutscene button, please! Please! Oh. Do you think you can find a shiny Zorua? Uh, I did on my other account, but uh, I do not plan on shiny hunting in a Nuzlocke. Don't worry. That is, <laughs> it's not something I plan. Hmm. What do I think of the graphics of Scarlet and Violet? I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking. It looks fine. But I don't really play Pokemon expecting it to look good, you know? I couldn't be have been a Pokemon fan for this long. Being like, but the graphics, though. It's but it is sad, though, because, like, on the 2D pixel art, like, some of the best-looking games, honestly. Gen 5 is beautiful. I, look, if you look at how they pan cameras in Gen 5 and shit like that, I have no idea how they do it. I know it's more than just pixel art, but they do it so well. 2.5D is so good. What's the best looking Pokemon game? Unironically, uh, New Pokemon Snap. That game is gorgeous, and it wasn't made by Game Freak. Wonder if those are related. Who knows? Oh yeah, Wormpole, hello. Who do you think is better at Pokemon? Pokemon Challenges or Small Ant? Uh, Pokemon Challenges, 100%. I don't even think that's a contest. I think it's like a more interesting question is if you say like who's better at Pokemon, uh, like Pokemon Challenges or Wolfie, because like Wolfie is well-trained in uh, like um, competitive, but it's so different from the base game. So it's like, you know, those are very different rankings. So it's, it's hard to know for sure. But I think, like, Small Ant doesn't have any, like, VGC experience. And then uh, Pokemon Challenge is just, like, Mr. Nuzlocke himself. Wolfie beat EK2. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, the answer is Wolfie. Of course it is. But before he beat EK, it was an interesting conversation. He also beat EK pretty fast, all things considered. Like, he's just... He's just good at the game. He, he is one of the best Pokemon players who ever existed. Uh, what is... I'm going to bring Chimchar in. Just because I want to train him. Uh, I'll, I'll do this. Uh, what do we name Chimchar? Because he's going to be an Infernape eventually. Monkey? Uh, monkey. Bitch? No. Um. Chad Monkey, Diddy Kong. No, 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 guys. If you're just joining the stream, it's an all Reddit naming theme. So we got to get a bit more. NFT. <laughs> that is the correct name. But I don't want to name him NFT. I don't want to have the phrase NFT in my video. But you're right, though. That That is what it should be. Board Ape. I'll go with Board Ape. I can do that. I can do Board Ape. I don't feel good about it, but I can. Harambe. That would be the Mimi answer. Is that the, is that the answer? 
It's no. I don't like either of these, if I can be honest. But we'll do with what we can. Uh, what do we want to do? Can we get more encounters? I'm pretty sure... I probably didn't get all the encounters in here either, so we can just try and grab everything we can while catching Pokemon. Your character looks like a nerd. Thank you, you are definitely new here. Uh, you're talking to Reddit boy, I'll have you know. <laughs> just, come on, pay some respect to Reddit boy. Okay. Um, I'll make some more Pokemon balls. Oh, I can get the leading balls too. Yeah, let me just bench these then. Whoa, whoa, we can make a... I guess I have been farming materials for a while now. Now we have 62, that's fine, because we're going to bench them soon enough. Uh, oops, I'm trying to find the right button. They have too many menus in this game. Okay. I mean, honestly, I don't want to waste all the great balls and shit. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get some Pokeballs for this. It's gonna be fine. Uh, we can go, we never got an encounter here or here. And there's also a satchel right there, so I'm gonna go get it. But just as a reminder, I did uh, get an encounter here. Uh, off screen. No, 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 that was in Cobalt. But I did get the uh, Kadabra encounter in an STD. He's the type of perch. You think Reddit Boy would purchase an NFT? I don't. I don't get that vibe from him, honestly. I don't think he is. Yeah. Also, we're no longer scared of water. Which is a huge plus. How hyped am I for Engage? Not really. Looks a bit too fan servicey, and I don't like the character designs in it. So, like, I'll probably still play it. It looks nice, but uh, it hasn't hooked me yet. So, we'll see. Is this the area? Where is this area? Home? I think it's up there. Got lots of noises. Uh, and the first Pokemon I see. Oh, this isn't even. That, where is this area? Uh, am I gonna check out One Piece Odyssey? It's just Dragon Quest Eleven with One Piece. Of oh, yeah, absolutely, I am. Uh, it might be a game like I try streaming, it doesn't do well, and then I just play it in my own free time. It could go either way. Uh, yeah, where is this location? I cannot find it. You can get Turtwig. Cool, but I cannot even find where the location is. Turtwig would be huge. Uh, I know there's an Alpha Torterra around. But I cannot find where this area is. Uh, I'll just keep running this way, though. Because I know that there is a new area. Oh, it's a Gumi. I know that this is the area. Can, can I just... Oh, he's angry. What level is he? 31? Oh, oh my god. Hello. Hello. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, okay. At least we're not battling multiple. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't want to kill him. Uh, maybe a weak mud bomb? I don't think weak mud bomb would kill him. Maybe a weak aerial ace. Maybe. Maybe weak aerial ace. No! Wow. Wow, our first lost encounter. 
Oh. So, I guess, like, the thing was, I didn't know where it was. I just did not understand where it was. And then the Gumi was a surprise. I could have snuck up on the Gumi. Ah. Oh, that's a shame. That is an absolute shame. See, if I knew this was where the area was, I would have done this. Oh. Oh, it could have been so much better. See, that could have been us. That could have been us. Like, we've been playing pretty loose with the encounters. But uh, I want to say that that's the first time I lost an encounter. And it was a good one, too. Gumi would have been nice. Dragon Steel's pretty good. Yeah, we've been to Ursa's Ring before. Uh, here's another satchel. Okay, so that is every encounter we could get in this in this map. We, I mean, obviously we didn't get one, but there's another chance. Uh, you can get Gumi in Highlands, and uh, we did not get that last time. So, Gumi is not off the table yet. Let me go get this other satchel, and I'm probably just gonna go back to Highlands. I guess I actually don't need to still be collecting the satchels, but, uh, oh well. Oh, there's another Valor? Oh well. Guja is your favorite pseudo. You're on a list for that one. I cannot believe it. When I was playing Twitch Plays Pokemon, someone asked me which has more R34, Greninja, or Gudra. And in hindsight, it makes sense. But at the time, I was shocked. I thought Greninja cleared easily, and I was very incorrect. Gudra, like, has triple the amount of Greninja, for the record. And I, w I was shocked. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was super wrong on that one. I should have known it was a trick question, because why else would it be being asked in the first place? Rookie mistake? Yeah. I'm sure other people would have made that mistake. But, like, once you know the answer, you're like, no, I see it. Uh, we can evolve the board ape. Oh. I already forget about Monferno. I honestly thought it was gonna go straight into Inferno Ape. I dead ass forgot. Um, we can get an encounter through here, and then. Wait, where is? Where's the other Gumi spot? I think it's in the Icelands, maybe? Is it? Because I know there's like a mountain top where you can find them. I assumed it... No, no, it's here. It's absolutely... It's here, right? I'm pretty sure it's just there. Oh, gotta make sure I don't die. Sonorous Path. We definitely caught someone here. Excuse me, Ursa Ring. Oh, seven. Yeah, there's still a fair amount of encounters we can get here. I would, I want to be Skyrim Horse any given moment. I hate being Sneezler. It's so gross. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm correct with uh, this being where the dragons are. Excuse me, though. Why is Luxray such a lame design? Whoa! Whoa, no way. No way. That, that, is, a, that is a magma hot take. People love that dude. Okay, am I... Where is the little dragon hole? I thought... Oh, isn't that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think I did walk right past it. Okay, we already have Krogunk. Wait, where are the dragons at? Oh, there's Gudra. Maybe... Here, I'm gonna catch everything. I hope there are Goomies here. Because if it's just Gudra, that's a problem. There's nothing we can catch if it's a, just a Gudra. 
No little goomies hanging around? Really? There's a goomy. Okay, a new encounter has started. And we are not going to make the same mistake we did last time. See, we're going to sneak up on it. We're going to come a little prepared. You know what? I'm even going to feed him. I'm going to feed the little guy. Oh, we're going to break his back all right. Oh my god, he started moving and I got scared. Okay, he's caught though. Absolutely, he's caught though. Oh. All right, there's the Gumi. I don't, I don't remember what that place was called, but uh, Gumi. And there's the, the massive Gudra. Someone said modest nature. Let's go. Wait, how do you? How did you know? How did you know that? Did it, does it say? That's news to me. Oh, you didn't. It's hoping. I was like, God, is that? That's massive info that I've just been missing out on. Um, but I'm pretty sure that maybe not up there, but I know that there should be like a fairy encounter down here. Like. Um, I, I don't think this is a new encounter. No, no, it's not. I don't, I, I don't know where I am. This whole, honestly, this map is like pretty poorly labeled. It's like pretty infrequent when you actually get like the, the area. I guess I've had a million encounters so far, so it's fine. I just do not know where I am. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure this area is new. Right. Yeah, Fable Spring. Okay. Uh, I should come back at night, because I think for now, it's only going to be Buddy, who we already have. Because I know, like, Clefairy spawns here, and having a Clefable wouldn't be bad. Um, yeah, I'll just come back here at night. We didn't see anything, though, which is good. Um, I'll come until night. Alpha thoughts on Alpha Gengar. If you've never seen it, it's huge. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen Alpha Gengar. Who's the biggest Pokemon in this game? I don't know. I know, like, Garchomp. He's, like, a pretty short guy, and then he's, like, 9 foot something, 10 foot something. Twitch plays Legends Arceus. I don't know how you play... Any game with Twitch chat where they have to use the camera. I know several people have done it. It just sounds less possible. Steelix? Oh, duh. Yeah, that makes sense. Steelix is just a big uh, steel snake. Yeah, imagine Waylord. <laughs> That's a good one. Imagine Alpha Dynamax Mega Waylord Z move. <laughs> XL Candy. There's a lot. You can make him pretty big. So now let's go get like our Clefa, Clefable, something like that. Just any of them do. Alright, it's Clefairy. Okay, be cool. I know Buddy is not going to sound the alarms. Buddy's not a snitch. Um. Nope. Clefairy, you don't see me. You don't see me. I just want to catch him for it. Okay, there's the Clefairy. Uh, the, what is this? Fabled Garden? Um, Fabled, Fabled Garden, or something like that. Uh, Clefairy. Uh, that's pretty big. I think, like, having a strong fairy type is, is good. I'm happy with that. I guess it was a guaranteed encounter, too. I guess we could have gotten a Cleffa, but, or I guess Basculin. We could have grabbed that, so, aw, little sleeping thing. Beep you.
Yeah, we have to catch Pokemon for XP, so... How did that one miss? Okay. I knew they ran away pretty fast, so like... I felt like we only had one shot at that. And I'm glad we caught it. The one that mattered, at least. So we got Clefairy and Gumi. Both pretty, pretty good encounters, I'd say. Uh, and now I'm just catching for XP purposes. <laughs> Between the eyes on that one. Badu. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, the Basculin's kind of, kind of difficult. I remember struggling with the White Stripe one for a while because this is the. Isn't this the only one you can get uh, Basque Legion with? Oh, wow, he saw me. Still? Yeah. Well, they kind of respawn around here. Uh, yeah, it's not a game changer or like a... I just wanted him just because we need the XP. Yeah, he's hard to catch, though. You have to get him really from downtown. All right, they saw me. Ow. Uh, that's probably in we're probably good here. I'm probably just gonna leave. I know when I'm not wanted. You can get Basque Legion with either one. Oh, okay. Have I ever streamed Pirate Warriors? No, but I've played it. Uh, doesn't really. S I've played like Warriors games on stream, and I don't think they really do well as stream games. I guess you can just talk over them for forever, but I just games I like playing in my own free time because I 100 percented the. Probably not 100%ed, but I I beat, I got everything I could in Fire Emblem Warriors, so that's probably the most I got out of that one. All right, but Gumi, not bad, not bad. We have like a whole box and a half of encounters when you factor in like the our team, so we're doing pretty solid right now. We have a enough to choose from to curate a pretty decent team when it all comes down to it. Oh, okay. Wow. This is such a good song. High key, one of the best songs in the game. Oh, how close am I, please? Okay. Uh, 180, not bad. I think we've gotten... No, wait, let's go back to Coastlands, because I know we haven't gotten every encounter in there. Uh, we still... We still have to get them from... I don't remember what it's called, but you remember the little Piplup area? We still have to go there. Uh, like over here, on that side of the crescent. <sighs> Name Gumi Dank. Oh, we can also get the Growlithe. That's an another encounter we can get. Not a great one, but definitely one we can get, because people love the guy. I think what's so crazy, though, is... This is going to come off a little shameless, don't get me wrong, but how, like, what the fuck happens today when, like, stream booted up and then we gain, like, a million subs all right back to back? I don't know what was in the air today. I'm appreciative, don't get me wrong, but it's just weird when that happens because it's always such, like, a, a weird snowball-y effect. I know it's September. That doesn't affect gifted subs, though, right? It doesn't affect gifted. Oh, windbreak stand. Okay. Let me, let me put that. But it was just crazy to me that it happened. And then... Um, what was I going to say? I lose my train of thought a lot. Because we, we love you. Okay, well, thank you. It's... Uh, you, you're like a friend to me. But uh, that's it. A little, little below that, honestly. But uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, oh, and there's more subs. That's what you have to do. You just have to be like, didn't we get a lot of subs today? And then you suddenly get more. That's why I was like, I don't want this to come off shameless, but I'm aware of what I'm doing. But I'm also just uh, curious. All right, there's a Growlithe, though. Level 42. Uh, on par with us. And now we can go over here. And we can scale down. Oh, my God. I thought I was about to fall. Please encourage the parasocial. Yeah. It's, okay, spring path, though. 
uh, spring path. Um, lots of encounters over here, too. Who's the first Pokemon we see? Uh, I'm going to look down. I'm gonna... We have a lot of water types. I was going to try and walk over to where Piplup is. But I, we do have a lot of water types. Water Steel is a pretty good defensive typing, though. We might be able to use it later. Um, where am I again? Okay, I need to go here. That That is where I need to go. The Piplup's not bad, though. Empoleon could be a good late game pick. We just have to make sure we don't see anything besides the Piplup that's sitting in the... There it is. Piplup found it. Okay. All right. We just have to bait the tiny little baby over here. Oh, you want the berry? Oh, you want the berry bad, don't you? I'm just going to try and chain these berries. Because then I can hit him in the back, which is what I need. Would you ever live edit a video or write a script? Uh, I don't, it's not in the plans right now, but if I did like a subathon, I'd probably have to do that live. So it's not likely, but it's definitely possible. All right, it's about to run out. I got caught. Okay, wait. Be cool, be cool, be cool. All right, Piplup. Empoleon for late game? That's pretty good. We can train him up and everything. Uh, any other encounters? Oh, there's one on the shore. Whoa, I didn't know that. Uh, I don't know if there's a new encounter there, because I know there's Empoleon. Uh, there's, like, I guess there's Murkrow. Someone's about to snipe me. Someone's about to murk me. Hold up. Oh, okay. Be cool. Oh, we caught it, though. 41 Murkrow. Damn, okay. Uh, we are picking up... I mean, that's not like an insane encounter, but like, we have a lot to work with is what I'm saying. Uh, anything in here, though? Is this a new area? There's, oh, it's still part of the shore, probably. Huh. Nothing new? Nothing new over here? Maybe one of these islands. That might be it then. I'll check this one last island over here. Oh my god, dude. Oh, Seagrass Haven. There we go. Here's a new one. It's just going to be a water type. Uh, looking around. I don't see any we haven't caught yet. We have a Gastrodon. We have Driflim. We have Tentacruel. Not Tentacruel, but still counts. Oh, what is... Is that... No, that's Gastrodon. That's Shellos. Nothing. I know there are more Pokemon out here. I know there's like Luminian. Uh, there's something. If we just stick around here, we'll find a new Pokemon eventually. Perfinian. I just have to find where they are. Catching the Pokemon in the water is pretty difficult. Um, there's Togepi. We also have Togepi. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess I'll get over here just in case they pop out. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Finian. Uh, not, not, not a massive encounter. Probably not one we'll use. But, uh, it's good to know we have sacks. You know? That's a pretty decent sack. And that's all of our encounters in here. Do you guys remember how hard we worked to get Duskull? <laughs> we worked a 9 to 5 for Duskull. We had to drag them all... Because... Sans Reach doesn't have any Pokemon in there that we haven't already caught. So I lured a Duskol Dusclops all the way through Deadwood to make it to Sand Re Oh my god. It worked though. It worked. That's the most surprising part. Hello. What a fast little Pokemon. You too. I think it's funny when they turn around right as you throw the ball. It's like they want to be caught. You too. See what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't think a Storavia... No, Storavia does not want to be caught. Uh, I think Tangela gets aggressive. Oh, no, they run. 
It's so awesome when they run. Because then you just hit them in the back. Oh, they don't want to stay in. Fine. Fine. I'm just trying to farm XP. I don't think we have a lot to... Oh, hello. Running. Hey, Pong. We could get a shiny, though. You know, that's always a possibility. I, I got a sneaking suspicion that we're going to get a shiny. I feel it. I feel it, yeah. It's a possibility. Um, hello, Amber Palm. Oh, Ovalie, hello, Legends, Arceus, Nuzlocke, how? What do you mean, how? What, what's, what don't you understand? You just, oh, I didn't know there's a Chansey here. Ch Chansey runs, right? Yeah. Hello, Chansey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, how it works is, like, you can catch as many Pokemon as you need to, because you have to catch Pokemon to move on in this game. But you don't have to... You can only use the ones who are, like, your first encounter. It's like, let's say I walk into this route, because you see uh, Hideaway Bay is a route. Banther's Lagoon is a route. Like, these are all routes. And let's say I walk into Deadwood Haunt, and I walk in here, and in the top left, it'll show... Oh, you entered the route? Oh, Chadot. Okay. That's my encounter for the route. And then if I catch it, cool. If I don't, I miss. I've only missed an encounter once, and it was only a little bit embarrassing. It wasn't that bad. Because we just, we almost got a Gumi, and then we went and got a Gumi somewhere else. Because I feel like those locations had the same Pokemon in them, so either... I think if we didn't get a Pokemon there, we probably weren't getting one in the other. So it honestly, non-consequential. It was fine. But yeah, I'm just farming XP right now. It's it's an interesting run. I I wish there were more trainer battles, because then I think the run would be a little harder. Because you get a lot of encounters in this game, and all you have to do is just be like, I'm going to lose a few Pokemon in this battle. And once you prepare to lose things, well... It's fine after that, you know? If you're prepared for loss, it doesn't matter. You just have so many encounters where you go into every trainer battle thinking like, yeah, I'm going to lose one or two Pokemon. And then you just win. Oops. Uh, if you die, the run's over. <laughs> I'm always prepared for loss. You and me both. Uh, yeah, so like, if I die... I said if you die, the Pokemon that you have highlighted, like over here, is dead. Because if you die, this game, the intro sucks. It takes like an hour to start the game. So, um, I don't want to reset unless I absolutely have to. But if I go, if I beat the whole game without actually having a trainer die, you bet your ass in the video I'm going to be like, but if I die... It's all over. You know, like, I'm, I'm going to do that shit. Of course I'm doing that shit. Uh, okay, but let's see what we have. I just want to move on. I hate that they they skill check you here. The first... I guess they want you to explore, right? Oh, that's it, though. We're done. Uh, moving on to the Icelands. Probably not going to finish the Icelands today, just by the way. Um, Wait... Before, but I want to start them. And hold up, before we go into the Icelands, let me make a different team. Uh, I don't think Gligar is the guy I want to bring into the Icelands. Uh, we're going to get... Oh, we already have Rabidash. Um, let me get the guys we just got, which is Murkrow, Finian. Yeah, just these two. Okay, so Clefairy's Dees. How do you... Are there Moonstones in this game? I assume there are. Um, I will probably take Samurott for this one, just because he resists ice. Uh, I will take, I'll still train Board Ape and To the Moon. Florida Man's fine. Jar. Mm. I might take, no, I don't think I want to take Onyx. Uh, oh, I got to get Piplup, true. Uh, oh, and Arcanine. I forgot. Or Growlithe. 
There's probably another Pokemon in here somewhere that I've forgotten about. Uh, I could bring Piplup instead of... Yeah, we're more likely to use Empoleon than we are uh, Infernape. And this Piplup's name is... Chat? Chat? Lay it on me. What's, what's the Piplup's silly Reddit name? Repost? Repost. Yeah, we can do repost. Uh, it's the repost of our starter, for sure. <laughs> we're re-rolling. Re oh, Pingu's good, but I think we're going to do uh, repost. Yeah, I think Jar's leading here. I guess Infernape wouldn't be bad if we're going to go into... Because Avalug is Ice Rock. Pitiful typing, but fighting type's good. Do we? I don't think we have any fighting types. No, no, we don't. Um, probably bring ratio. That's a pretty good pick. Reggie Temple fight gonna suck. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably make a. T Who do you fight in the Reggie Temple? Because I remember there being a three v one fight in there. What's the name of the the little lolly you fight? I can get Lucario, though. Yeah, Lucario would be good. Hmm. You mean the child? Oh, is she a child? I didn't know. Every Everyone's a child. Like, dude, all the trainers are 10 years old and this tall. And just because... I don't know who's... How old in Pokemon? Gastrodon... Oh, it's Magmortar, Rhyperior, Electrovire. Oh, that's a Gastrodon fight. Yeah, I'll bring Gastrodon just for that one fight. Um, I'll leave Gastrodon behind. I can replace Florida Man with something else. I'm not... Uh, I might bring, bring a bite. I think this team's fine. Hmm... The game's pro tag is 16. Oh, yeah, you are older in this game. I forgot. Oh, my God. Reddit boy is absolutely 16. I agree with that. That's the perfect age to be edgy on the internet. Oh, and now we got our fifth star. Now we're going to the Iceland. Oh, my God. Time to update my spreadsheet. Hold up, chat. Uh, I feel like Highlands went pretty fast, all things considered. Uh, oops. Uh-oh, what, what the fuck's happening here? Okay, there we go. Everything's fine now. Um, and now we're going into, I think it's the Alabaster Icelands. I think that's the name of it. We didn't run into an STD in uh, Highlands, though. Which is pretty, pretty... I guess it happens. Maybe we can find a space-time distortion in the next area. It's just a free encounter. Oh, we can get wing balls now, though. That's pretty big. Yeah, Alabaster Icelands. I was right. Zorio would be sick. Yeah, but I don't know if we can find them before we find anyone else. Because I know they're kind of tucked away in a cave. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah, I want to make wing balls. I'm going to make as many as I can. These these are phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to sell all of my feather balls. There we go. I can get rid of these hook balls. Who cares? Uh, favorite these. Wing balls are easily the best one in the game. I could get more, but we don't have a lot of encounters left. Yes, here we go. Reddit boy says Pog Champ. No, I don't think Reddit boy is a Pog Champer. I think he's more of like a when is Narwhal Bacon. You know what I mean? Pog Champ is too Twitch culture. He knows Pog Champ from r slash livestream fails. I watched your new video. Hilarious. I'm glad you liked it. That video is performing really well. Let me check. Uh, it was like a alternating between a 1 of 10 to 2 of 10. And I think maybe it's a 2 of 10. 
Uh, I think the only video above it was Pokemon. Oh my god, it's like less than 100 views away. It's been performing just as well as the Ice Physics video. But I, I don't, I'm just saying, I don't, I like playing Pokemon, but I'm always shocked that my Pokemon content performs better than anything else I do. Oh, uh-oh. Was not prepared for this fight. Mr. Mime, huh? Uh-oh, we might have some fatalities here. Oh, wait, this is good. This is a good opener. Well, okay, I'm going to look it up real quick. I'm a bit late. Uh, defensive stats up. That's a, that's an L. Uh, hmm. Let me see. This is the second time I fought them. No, third. Okay, okay, they have Mr. Mime at 46. Uh-oh, all of our team is higher level than me. Yeesh. Okay. So... This Pokemon does not have Dazzling Gleam. It has Psychic, Hypnosis, Iron... Wait. Mr. Mime can't hit me! All this Pokemon can do is Hypnosis. Calm Mind and Iron... Its only attacking move is Psychic. Oh, it can't hit me. Hold on, I'm gonna Sword Dance. Yeah, it's a Swords Dance time. I can't do it, like, several times, though. Because, uh, one, I was still scared of Drowsy. And, uh, you can only be plus attack. You can't be, like, plus two attack or anything. Yeah, hold up. This was probably one of the best openings I could have had. The Drowsy hurts, but hopefully it goes away. I, like, I love how Drowsy and Frostbite are handling this game. It's so much better than Sleep Freeze. Oh, okay, yeah. The counter, the Revenge Kill Pikachu. I did expect this. Uh, quick Attack into Thunderbolt. And there goes our hero. Our starter. Okay, so we lost our starter. But that's why we got repost. We got a brand new starter. Don't worry, chat. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping that they'd go in order and send out Staravia, but that's good info to know that they do counterpick. I didn't know if they did that in Legends Arceus. But hey, if the starter isn't safe, no one's safe. Oh, damage by recoil. I'm probably swapping here. Uh, I think this is a ratio swap, because I feel like, uh, I don't think Staravia can really hit me. They can do Brave Bird, but that's like it, yeah. Also, beautiful move. I love how Brave Bird is. The attacks are really good in this game. I like the animations. Yeah, this is an 07. Uh, just gonna strong style. Make it quick. This is, <laughs> getting revenge kill with ratio feels very personal. <laughs> Oh. All right, guys. An 07 for the starter. Mm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, how fitting is it? That we name a new Pokemon, repost, and then Karma comes back to bite us. <sighs> we invested in this Pokemon. We definitely thought we'd make it to the end with them. I needed the maximum amount of 07s because this one is brutal. For the first time in a run, I have accidentally let a starter die. Goodbye, Samurott. They will not be forgotten. And to the Icelands, we are going to take... Um, 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 um. We'll just take Electra Buzz. Nothing crazy, but again, not a Pokemon we care if it dies. We'll just bring Electra Buzz for the hell of it. No, not the ashes. He's handing us the cremation of Sack of Grit Grab. Oh, oh I feel so hurtful. So passive-aggressive. We're looting them. Uh, what are we naming Electrobuzz? Yeah, we lost Samurott. That's rip. Absolutely. Oh. 
What are we? Someone named him Facebook. I'm not naming Electra Buzz Buzzfeed. Nice guys. Eh, trending. Mm, buzzword, Buzzfeed. That's not Reddit though. Downvote. We had a Reddit. We had a downvote die. A sleuth bot. We can do sleuth bot. Oh, we can also evolve Piplup. God, we're trying to replace our Pokemon too quick. Oh, oh, it feels bad. No, not someone saying, have we used the name Karma yet? Come on. Do we have a Kind Stranger? I'm pretty sure Kind Stranger was our Starly that died. I think that was our first death. It died near immediately. All right. To the Icelands we go. To the spreadsheet I go. Oh, did Gabite die? No, we still have uh, still have Gabite. Hey, we made it to the Icelands though. Not even remembering upvote the the Silcoon. It was a cas was it? It was a cascoon. Yeah. Now look who doesn't remember, huh? Oh, to the Icelands. No matter what we do here, we only have one more stream and then we'll wrap everything up. I'll probably stream for like, maybe like another like 30 minutes or so. 30 to an hour. Oh. oh, wait, no way. You said, sorry, I just started watching. You When you asked about the Karma, I thought you were kidding because we just released our starter who is named Karma. <laughs> what shiny would I want though? Uh, Zorua. Uh, what time will I stream tomorrow? Same as today. Yeah. I mean, finishing this game in four days. And I've only been streaming for like four days. Four hours per day. It's pretty good. Uh, whenever I get more situated, I'll probably stream for like six to eight hours. I just had stuff going on. Still getting situated, you know. You should make a beeline to Zorua spot. Uh, no. Because I don't know if I would get it. I'm probably not. It'd probably be better to get all the encounters I can. Because our first encounter is definitely going to be Snow Run, which is going to be like right here. Right? Yep, there you are. Okay. Uh oh. What? The, what? Hello? What? What? Huh? Okay, I don't know where I am. I'm gonna say this is camp. Because it's not telling me where I'm at yet. But anyways, there's Snow Runt. Uh, where's Lucario? Isn't Lucario... I want to say like over here? I'm gonna go around the outside. Because I know there's some good Pokemon that I can find before anything. See, we could have gotten Apom. Flying would also be nice too. But for encounters, I feel like flying is could be a little bad because we're gonna see everything. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna go around the outside. Okay, is this a new encounter? Okay, so Icebound, Icebound Falls. Uh, okay, now we're in Icebound Falls. Uh, if I can just stay up here, I won't see. Oh! <laughs> okay, let me just. Fall, fall. All right. I want to go down. Hisui and Braviary could be good. Uh, what are they? Psychic flying? Is that their typing? I'm just trying to not see anything to position myself right to see Lucario. I see Alpha Lucario, but that doesn't count because uh, we can't catch Alpha Pokemon. Are there smaller Lucarios around? Because that one does not count. The answer is yes. Are they are they right here? Wait. Where are they? They're at the bottom. Okay, so just go down. Huh. Riolu at the bottom. Okay, if we have to get Riolu, that's fine. 
I'm just hoping that we don't um, see anything else first. Oh, good thing we got the Electro Buzz because I did see him. Oh, there's Riolu. I see him. That's our encounter. Okay, how do I... What's my game plan? Okay, no one see me? No one see me? The Master of Stealth strikes again. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Okay, I'm just going to chain him real quick. And then I'm going to walk around. Perfect. Uh oh. Oh no. I threw an, a berry instead. I threw the wrong thing. Okay, wait. Thunder wave? Wait, thunder wave though. Thunder wave? Yeah, thunder wave and a great ball. That's my plan. This works. This can work. Because I don't want him to run away. And now we'll throw a great ball. Riolu would be such a good catch. Please, please go in the ball, please. Please, 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 please. Okay. Riolu's huge. And that is in the Icebound Falls. Whew. Uh, yeah, this is the best song. Hi, Key. This song's great. Um, I guess uh, the only other Pokemon we could have seen here were ones we already have, so we weren't really in too much danger. There's a Bomb of Snow. I guess we could have seen him. Arena's approach, though. Uh, what are we going to catch around here? Uh, Ralts or Gardevoir would be good. Oh, Blissey? Is that just a normal Blissey? Yeah, not an Alpha? Okay. Um, let me try to catch that. I'm gonna throw. A, I don't want to hit it with a berry. Yeah, I don't want to lead its path on accident. Okay. Oh no. A pump be cool. A pump be cool. Don't snitch. Don't be a snitch. Oh, it's Amber Pump. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Blissey's a hard Pokemon to catch. Okay. Now I have to try to catch Blissey while also fending off this Ambipom. Alright, this, this is possible. Definitely doable. Blissey. Blissey's about to hike on the whole mountain. Uh, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Arena. <laughs> I, I definitely thought that one was getting away. Honestly, Blissey's a pretty huge get. You know? That's that's massive. That's a super tanky Pokemon in a game where defense matters so much. That is an in-game Pokemon for sure. Okay. Let's go let's go down here. Let's see what else we get. I'm so yeah, I'm shocked it didn't run off. Well, it tried to hike the whole mountain first. And was a little ill-prepared for that. Now we're in the avalanche slopes. Uh, what is this one going to be? Chansey? No, I guess that was a nice backup if Blissey ran away. Uh, Apom, we already have one. Another Chansey. Excuse me. Another Blissey. No, I'm not trying to fight. Am I getting the Alpha Garchomp? No, I'm not getting any Alpha Pokemon. That's my rule for the run. Their stats are kind of broke, so I don't want to use them. I know that's where he is. We are... Wait, is that... That looks like a Shiny. I don't think it is because I didn't hear the jingle. No, I don't think it is. I just thought it for a second. Oh, I'm going to keep running, though. Where's that Pokemon to get over here? No, that's not a shiny. Why is it... Do, why is the the lock-in so weird? Like the little icon in the corner every time you catch a Pokemon. Why does it look so broken on my Switch? Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I got shiny Gibble, I'd be upset. That The shiny for that line is so pathetic. 
Uh, no new encounters over here, I don't think. I mean, I think you can go under. I think there's a... There, oh, well, there's one. Um, ice ground? Pretty... I'll take it. Um, I'll use this, though. Uh-oh. Did he eat his food already? I thought he had an arm for a second. Yeah, Mammal Swine's not bad. Okay, let me grab him. Hopefully he stays in. I'm gonna throw in- Oh, that's in. Ooh! 62. And that was in... Oh, that's also... No, that's Avalanche Slopes. Okay. Avalanche Slopes. Uh, Pillow Swine. Not bad. Ice Peak Arena. We could go there. We'll go there next. Yeah, level 62? He probably has Ancient Power already. We can probably evolve that into a Mammoth Swine eventually. There's already a Mammoth Swine. What? And doesn't even know? I mean, there probably is a Mammoth Swine somewhere, but that's not how we're playing. It's a Nuzlocke. It's first encounter only. Isn't Alpha Garchomp near here? Yes, but we're not using Alphas. And also, again, it's a Nuzlocke, so... Uh, Arena's approach. Uh, well, we're probably getting a Bergmite, if I had to guess. Like, as soon as we get into the arena, maybe? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. We're not going to use Avalug, but I'm going to do that thing where I catch them in a different region. Because there probably aren't any Pokemon in this area. And I just have to be in this area when it gets caught, and then it counts. It's it's honestly pretty funny to try and beat the system like that. Uh, Ice Peak Arena. It's pretty clever. There's only Bergmite and Ghastly in Zorua Cave. Uh, I think there's Mistrevious, but we also have that. We might have all the encounters for the Zorua Cave. So we might have forced that encounter on accident. Let's go to this hot spring, though. Isn't there something you can catch in here? Machoke? No, no, no. Apoms? No. I thought there was like a starter in here for some reason. Or is that later? Do they... Re no, we caught the others. This, yeah, I've talked about Hisui and Zoroark Shiny for so long. There's a bunch of stuff that can spawn in Hearts Hot Spring. Is it just random? Is it like bigger? Because uh, there's nothing in there. Hot spring and counter changes. Okay. Well, I'll wait then. Uh, I'll leave that one blank because none of those encounters are new to us. Uh oh. That'd be a way to go out, huh? New area over here. This one is. I don't know. Nothing? This is just a big open area? I could go to the quest, but I don't want to. Dang, I I'm shocked that there's no no name in the central area. This is just the open field. I'm gonna hop down here though. Okay, there's Bergmite. There's Haunter. What is this? Oh, Bone Chill Waste. Okay, we haven't caught a Pokemon in there yet. I think we can actually force Zorua. Because aren't they in here? Not here, but in a different room. Oh, Ice Rock. Okay, so worst case scenario, we just lure one over to Ice Rock. <laughs> there is Ice Rock. I'll put that on my list. But we'll keep looking around. Good thing we caught Bergmite, too. And Mistrevious. We did a really good job on accidentally forcing the Zorua. Because it's in here, right? Oh, a space time distortion. That's huge. Wait, where's... Oh, there's the Zorua. Oh, I want to... The, the rock blocked me. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't want to mess this one up. So... Let's just throw this over here and just walk very slowly. 
Um, oh, I think they see it. They do see it. Perfect. I'll throw another one. Oh, yeah, I knew it was about to despawn. Nice. Nice encounter right there. Ghost normal is such a good typing. Oh, that's huge. That is a massive catch. And what is that still bone chill waste? I don't know. I'll check it later. Some of the names aren't revealed until later. But Ghost Normal is one of the best typings in the game. And it's just sick. We're definitely bringing that to late game. Bone chill waste. I guess that's bone chill waste. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a question mark on that one. I'll figure it out later. Actually, let's figure it out now. Let's go. No, I don't want to rest. Kind of frail, but one weakness. Yeah, I'm excited to use that for Giratina. That's a good one. Uh, let's grab these guys. Where does it say we caught it in the Iceland? So it's just. I don't... It's below the Bone Shield Waste. I think it'd say that if we caught any Pokemon underground. I'm just going to say that was the correct one. I'm going to use that for my Bone Shield Waste because it's just hard to know. They don't label the underground at all. You're fighting Giratina? No. No, I'm not. You can count the caves as its own area. I don't want to do that because I'm going off of labels. I'm just going to say it's below the bone chill waist. I'm just going to say it's bone chill waist. Pinwheel claws. Yeah. Uh, what do we call this one? Yif. No, come on. I don't want to call it Yif. Oh, Riolu too. Yeah. Um. Oh, and Snow Runt. Pupper? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need a pupper. Even though it evolves into not a pupper, but it's a pupper now. Oh, Blissey. Oh, my God. Dude, our team is looking decent. This, yeah. I'll take the Blissey. Uh, then Riolu is Yif. Come on. He can be doggo. He doesn't have to be. We come. On. No. Furry bait. I'll do furry bait. I mean, honestly, they both are. Let's be honest. Doge. Okay. You know, that's, that's the most Reddit name. You're absolutely right. We have to. Whew, we got saved there. Whew. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize he's only fighting at this level. Um, so I want to train Zorua more. I don't know. I'll probably just train them later. 49. I'll probably start carrying him around with me, though, just for uh, friendship reasons. Okay. Do we have a fight here? Because I know they have, like, the wake guy. Who's the who's the wake guy? Like, don't we have a fight coming up? I think we do. Who is it? What is his name? So I can look it up. So I can do the do the work. Oh yeah, Gayrick. That's that's right. Le Gayrick Legends. Legends Arceus. Um his team. Okay, so we it's a Glalie and Frostlass. Um, okay, be prepared to lose Pokemon. Let's bring Fire type. It's Icicle, so it's Ice, Ice, Dark. I'm looking at it here. I'll pull it up again. 
Here you go. It's only two Pokemon this time, though. So this is all we have to prepare for. Uh, Arcanine is pretty good for this. Level 42. They're 48. We can use them for this. Uh, just because we don't plan on using him for the rest of the run. Rock, Fire Rock is pretty... It's pretty bad. And this is probably the only value he'll get. So... Uh, we'll do something. Okay. Um, what do I want? I, I do have a Firestone, yeah. Um, I guess it's Ice and Ghost. Uh, what's... What is Blissey? What do we name Blissey, by the way? We need a Blissey name. Um. Uh, why is he only naming some of them? I'm only naming the ones I use because in this game, you don't name Pokemon when you catch them. You have to go and individually name them. Um, Karen. <laughs> you, we could call her Karen. Yeah, we can do that. I saw some people go a wholesome route, but we can we can do Karen. <laughs> no R slash aw. Uh I don't wanna we could bring them for this, but no, it's not worth it. We just need to fight Glalie, and then we're fine. Uh and then if we honestly Growlithe and Ratio can handle this on their own. We don't need anything more than that. Uh yeah, no, we're good. These these three Pokemon carry. I'm going to swap up. No, I'll, I'll bring up, dude. Okay, now let's go get a Firestone. Just one. Oh, let me deposit some too. Oh, Ice Stone. Nice. Uh, who the fuck uses an Ice Stone to evolve? I guess Eevee. You know, you can... I know they do that now. Uh, all right. Oh, we need to name Growlithe True. Oh, did I do the STD? No, I did not. We can do that after here. Uh, what is Growlithe's name? Oh, we have so many Pokemon could have been Doge. Yif. Oh, my God. No. No. Doggo. I guess we did Pupper. We haven't done Doggo yet. But there's a big heckin'. Can I'm gonna name him Heckin' Doggo. There we go. That's a name right there. Uh oh, isn't yeah, isn't there a space-time distortion? Yeah, it's still happening. Let's uh let's go do that first before we do like the fight. I don't want it to disappear. In case you're wondering, to anyone who's tuning in, the rules for space-time distortion are uh, I get one encounter per biome. So, uh, we do get an encounter in the space-time distortion, but only once per biome. Yeah. I mean, did I say space-time distortion? I'm in STD, sorry. I'm trying to speak a little faster here. I think the STDs are, like, too hype in this game, so, like, just ignoring the Nuzlocke completely. Oh, this is such a hype place to get it to. Uh, real good positioning. You can just walk around in circles and you don't trigger everything. Um, I'm just going to sit in these bushes, though. And we're good. Uh, we can catch a few of these Pokemon while we wait, though. Just for XP, right? Oh, I think it's happening. No? Soon? Okay. Whoa, whoa, here just in time. Okay, in the first encounter we see in this STD is coming any second now. Pikachu? No, we got a Pichu, so it's Scyther. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'll take it. Sure. 
Is the dupes clause for the whole line? Yeah, that, that's always how dupes clause works. Because it's always going to be like the same Pokemon, right? Oh, it could have been Scizor. I could have just saved the trade. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been so nice. All right, well, now if I ever want to use Scizor, I have to go through hell and back to try and find this. Oh, and he's back just to rub it in my face. Uh, okay, now we can get Magmortar. Oh, didn't our Magmar die? Or is he still sitting in the box? I don't remember. I, I want to say Mag Magmar died, though. Did I get everything? I want to get all the items in here. This died? Yeah, okay. I thought this died. Uh, Scizor. Getting Scizor outright would have been nice. Also, I bet Scizor is super high level too, right? 51? Yeah, that would have been nice. All our Pokemon are like 40s. And all the wilds we're catching are like 50s, 60s. Uh, that's probably every item. Uh, let me write down Shithor. Why can't you get Scizor by evolving? Uh, it's... I mean, I can. It's just I need a metal coat, right? Isn't that the item I need? <sighs> Is this still the team I wanted for this? Yeah, I'm gonna lead with Heck and Doggo. That's... This team naming convention has ruined my diction. Uh... What's Raging Fury? Is that a unique move? I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. It's a fixate move. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep Fire, fire Fang there, right? Alright. I like that. Can you afford a Metal Coat? Uh, I don't have a me I don't have a one yet. Uh, I haven't... I stopped farming for whatchamacallit. Yeah, I stopped trying to get all the satchels as soon as I got the link cable. But maybe it's time to start again. Is it, this might be a new area, though. It is. Wait, I just saw it say one when I walked through. What is it? I think it's only going to be like bird mites here. Yeah, this is Avalug's Legacy. Avalug's Legacy. And we've already caught Bergmite? I think this is only Bergmite, right? Drif Driflim? We have that? Yeah, I think it just might be zero encounters over here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I could probably lure something over. Yeah, every Pokemon here we've already caught. Oh, well. Hisui and Growlithe is much better than Arcanine. Absolutely. I wish they kept the same color scheme and then, like, left this rocks over his head. And Fire Rock. Fire Ground would have at least been, like, a little bit better. God, Reddit boy. Every time I see a close-up of him, I'm just shocked. All right, hello, Gayrick. I'm proud of you for coming out, but now it's time to put you back. <laughs> I don't think that's progressive trash talk. <laughs> uh, find a Zorua? I already did get one. Uh, you can find an Avalug. Um, well, we already caught a Bergmite. What are we going to do? Uh, Heckin Doggo. I think this is a pretty easy clap here. I know we're a bit under-leveled, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. Okay, it might not be, actually. Uh, uh, I guess if I do this, it'll work. What's stronger? Ooh, that's strong. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that and see what happens. This might work out, it might not. If it doesn't, who cares? It worked out. Which, I don't know why I'm the surprise one here.
Heckin' doggo. A champion. Undefeated. Hole. Give some 07s out of respect. <laughs> it's not out of loss or grief. I am just genuinely impressed by him. That is one heckin' doggo if I've ever seen one. Yeah, he lives. Doggo lives. <laughs> A lot of first-time shatters came out for that one. Oh. Guys, thank you so much for coming out and supporting the stream. It's been fun. It's been real. Um, yeah. I'm just appreciative. I like streaming a lot, and I'm happy that I'm starting to do it more. And that I'm starting to see regular names here. It makes me happy. And you guys are supporting it. Uh, this Like, we're doing well. It's just a nice additional... It's fun, and it's a fun, like, a nice side revenue thing on top of, like, YouTube and everything. Uh, I want to get to a point where this is, like, equal to YouTube, right? Like, I want to grind Twitch so it can be, like, on equal footing. Because right now, it's, like, that. You know what I mean? So, uh, I'll work on keep making things better. But right now, it's just pretty basic. You know, turn stream on, do thing, turn stream off. But eventually, I'll start streaming for longer, start doing multiple things. And it'll be fun. It's just a, it's a process. So thanks for being ground floor investors here. You guys are all getting in before it gets good. You know, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Can't wait till you have emotes. Yeah, true. Yeah. Now you guys are the ground floor investors. Don't worry. Uh, should we get more encounters or go to the objective? Um... I think the cave might take us a little bit, right? It's not it's not super quick. I think it's like a few puzzles, right? And then one fight at the end. Yeah, chat. I feel like if you were to sub, it's less of investing in the stream and more of investing in yourself, you know? Be your own boss. Work your own hours. Watch the stream whenever you want. I can't tell you what to do. It's you who makes the calls here. You know? <laughs> I think... Oh. Let's just... All the subs... It just It's just money laundering, you know? It's just, give me your dirty money. I'll make it come out sparkly clean. It's all good. I came up with the epiphany the other day. Um, remember with the Splatoon 3 tournament? We had a cash prize on it. And then I said, um, like, you know, my my business manager was like, hey, you gave out prizes for people. We need, or we need a, like, a W9 or whatever the nerd shit is. And I was like, oh, no, we didn't pay them directly. We paid them in Twitch subs. We just gave them gifted subs. And they go, oh, okay. And then I thought, like, holy shit. You could launder money <laughs> with Twitch. You know? I... Thank you for the subs, by the way. Investment. I'm glad it works. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you could absolutely 100% launder money in Twitch. And I just... I don't know what to do with that, but I just want someone else to be aware. You know? Yeah, but then you give half to Twitch. I, I understand, but I don't think you realize when you're laundering money, if you don't give half to Twitch, you have zero, right? So it's it's not it's not a bad idea, especially if you have a better contract. You know, then you can uh, give maybe thirty percent to Twitch. A modern Saul Goodman. Look, I'm just saying it's a reason people do it. I'm not saying to do it, but I'm saying someone definitely uses gifted subs to launder money. That's all I'm saying. Do you still do private streams for your subs? I did way back when, but I haven't really had... I barely had time to do work, because I've just been moving and everything. Life's been busy, but eventually I probably will. Oh, wait, can I not go in? Did I, did I miss some dialogue? Those are the Pearl Clan. Wait, what's... Oh. I just missed that, then, I guess. Who has all that money to give to Twitch just to launder? Well, I'm just saying, like, someone does. 
maybe not you, 16, watching from home in your parents' bedroom that they gave you for free. I'm probably not talking to you. I'm, but someone out there could definitely benefit from knowing that you can launder money from Switch. Alright. When do we fight her? Because I know... What is her name? Sabi? Yeah, Sabi. Uh, I know we fight her eventually, but she's the one that has, like, the Magmar, Magmortar, Electrovire, all that. All the Sinnoh guys. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's absolutely a Gastrodon fight. I mean, honestly, Gastrodon was made for this fight. It's Rhyperior, Magmortar, Electrovire. That's... <laughs> wow. Gastrodon has a super effective move on each and every one of them. Yeah, let's uh let's summon Gastrodon real quick. Uh oh no, we already have him. Awesome. Yeah, I need to be reminded whenever we get there. Uh, what would be an encounter I would like to see? Uh, I'd really like to see like a uh, um like a Gardevoir. I think that'd be good for late game. Gardevoir is a good Pokemon. Uh, but I guess, like, pretty slow and speed's so important in this. Maybe not. I just like Gardevoir. For completely innocent reasons, despite what the internet may say. You can never just let someone enjoy something. Alright, I need to go back. I need to heal. Oh, I need to switch out Heckin' Doggo. We do not need that. Um. Okay. Uh, let's... Heckin' Doggo survived the Purge. Jesus. Um, I can get up to level 50, though. That would be good for Updoot. And then... Uh... I'll throw in Togekiss. It's a pretty good backup mon, just because it's the highest level. <laughs> Actually, it's, that's not true anymore. We have a lot of high-level Pokemon. We have Blissey. Uh, we can throw in Karen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. It's a pretty weird team, but we're really only preparing for one fight. Okay, but let's say... And actually, let me prepare a little differently. Let's say... Uh, Gastrodon dies. Worst case scenario. Uh, Jar does nothing to help us. Uh, ratio... Help, actually, that's a pretty good one, too. This helps. And then... Karen doesn't really help. It's just beefy. And then... Probably... An, either an electric... Uh, I guess another... If we had another Water Ground Pokemon... I would, sacrifice Barboach. Honestly, it might be the Onix. Because these are just weak. Mm, I don't know. I know. I know I'm going to bring... Gligar. Yeah. Or Gliscar. Lesser Lead. Yeah, it's his moment. Yeah, this is a pretty good team. Uh, we're going to train uh, Repost and Doge and Riolu. And then this team just wipes everything else. Yep, that works. Uh... We have so many Pokemon. Yeah. That's kind of like how I feel about this run. I, I think how you would make this run harder is either you limit encounters or you know, somehow you have more trainer battles. Like, I don't really want to limit encounters, but I do think having, uh, whatchamacallit, I wish there were just more trainer battles. It'd make the Nuzlocke more interesting. Um, yep, and now we go in here. Hello. Oh, we have another encounter in here. It's I know it's just like bronze orange shit though. Hmm. I might I might Yeah, I think our team's good. Cause it's just like the three Pokemon is pretty scary. Cause like even if they're lower leveled than you. Again, wait. I think Gastrodon is really good for this because 
Okay, so what's gonna happen is in the in this fight, let me show you. Uh so Gastrodon is four times effective on Rhyperior. That's a wash. Uh Electrovire cannot even touch Gastrodon. And then Magmortar is only gonna hit with not very effective flamethrower and then poison them. So yeah, I think it's just kind of a wash if you throw Gastrodon in there. I think Washer uh wash yeah gastrodon clear is easy okay and now we're in snow point temple so let's uh snow point temple uh the first pokemon we see that we don't have it probably is going to be ralts just because there really isn't anything else that we could run into i guess it could have been gold that if we didn't have the maddest lad we've ever seen yeah just go right period that's absolutely going to be the play Guys, I remember this puzzle because I got it right the first time on accident. Can you guys just tell me what the code is? Because I don't want to think. Um, is it? It's like steel or rock steel ice, right? Rock steel ice. Uh, rock steel ice. Just look it up on Google. Yeah, but I don't want to like open up another window and then I just stop talking and then you just hear typing. Uh, okay, so what is this one though? I know that it goes back a little further than you think, right? Nope, okay. Uh, ice, rock, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. I trust the first person. I trust the first person who said that in chat, not even looking any further. Um, ice. Uh, I'll press ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Rock, steel, rock, ice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. The first time I trust chat and it paid off. Maybe I'll do it again. Who knows? What's the second one? Oh my god, Ace Covers, you have given... 55 gift subs to the channel? Jesus Christ. Th I mean, I'm not... Thank you, but like, sheesh. Oh, Steel Ice Rock. Wait a sec. I'll, I'll gas you up later. I have to look at this other code. Thank you, Mayor and Karen. Uh, steel Ice Rock. Rock, Ice, Steel, Rock. But it was too McRib. It was funny. That is true. That was funny. Okay, cool. I trust chat twice in a row. And it was correct. Because if you were wrong, you were getting banned. <laughs> oh, I think Bowie's brother. First time catching a stream. Love the YouTube vids. Thank you very much. And here's a Ralts coming up. This. Oh my god, look at that little guy. When you have the back hit on the sound effect, and then you have like the reverb on it, it just feels brutal. And then here's Alpha Gallade. But uh, we're just going to get Gastrodon ready and... Uh, just go right by. You know what? I'm going to try and catch him with one ball. Uh, not use him, but just I'll take the XP. Uh-oh. Didn't work. Didn't work. We're just leaving. Do I have any apricots? No. That's fine. Keep on walking. And, oh, there's Curlia. I guess we could have gotten Curlia. That's level 28. We could have just ignored the Ralt. Sounds like it would have been hard, though. Oh, well. Hello. Okay, Gastrodon. Gastrodon's ready. All right. All right. Oh. This fight matters. This fight absolutely matters. Oh, no. Uh. Okay. Gastrodon. I'm scared of this. I am a little scared of this, but I guess if we... Worst case scenario, if we happen to lose Gastrodon, it would be okay. God, look how tiny he is. Gastrodon is so little compared to these massive guys. Okay, so 
Okay, they can only poison me in flamethrower. That's the only thing I can get hit with after Rhyperior dies. So I should just strong style Water Pulse. Yeah, I can only get hit by flamethrower and poison. I just hope this kills Rhyperior. It does. Strong style was probably overkill, but better safe than sorry. Can't even Thunder Wave me. Uh, I'm probably getting Poison Gas. To be expected. Uh, I really like Gastrodon, though. So, wait. Actually, I'm going to take out... No, I don't need a switch. Uh, just Strong Style of Mag Mortar. I'm not going to die to Poison. And Electrovire can't even touch me. God, this is such an easy clap from Gastrodon. Oh, my God. It's a massive updute moment. Oh. Put uh, Earth Power on Gastrodon instead of Bulldoze. I agree. The reason I had uh, Bulldoze instead of Earth Power was because I didn't have like the Agile Strong style for it yet. I didn't master the move yet, and I wanted to wait until I had that. Electrovire threw hard. Zero coverage moves. Oh, whoa, that didn't kill, huh? Uh, I'm going to swap out here. Uh, because it doesn't matter. But I don't want to... I don't know if poison damage still happens even if I miss. I mean, even if I kill. I don't think it does, but I want to be safe. You know, and it's not like this does anything. Yeah. No, Gastrodon's fine. That's a GG's. That's an easy GG's. Oh. And don't we have to fight... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Don't we fight the 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 the, 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 the level yeah level fifty four braviary? Uh, we do not have the team for that. Uh, level fifty four braviary. I get. I think between all of our Pokemon, we should be fine though. Uh, I lead with ratio. If ratio dies, that's gonna be okay. Uh, and then Karen. I think we just win. I think Karen just tanks whatever we want to do here. Yeah. Uh. Let me see. Braviary fight legends Arceus. Uh, okay. See, that's hard because now everyone just says it's. Uh, like, tells me how to catch it. I want to look for the battle. I want to see what its moveset is. Yeah, no one knows that info. Gotcha. It's forbidden by the sands of time. Okay. He's flying psychic. Uh, I guess... I, I'm going to lead with Rhyhorn. And if it happens to die, Karen can just clean up. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, this is gonna be fine. Oh, it says right here actually. Oh, it has Brave Bird, Roost, Hurricane, Double Edge. So Roost is a bit scary. Uh but I feel like if I can just get two hits with Rhyhorn, I win. But all that I'm seeing is that it has zero moves that are super effective against Rhyhorn. So that's pretty good. Yeah, this is this is easy. This is an easy clap. You're like 75% done? I think it's like closer. I think it's like like 80%, 80, 85% done. Blitzy's absolutely not the answer. Well, I just don't think we need Blitzy. This hurricane does nothing. That animation looks like it did a lot though. Uh oh, I can just hit him with normal rock slide. Uh well I hope it hits. That 90 accuracy is scary. Oh now we do another. Oh, that's a wrap. Now we do another with hundred accuracy. Ooh, that's easy. Stressed for nothing. Absolutely no reason. Yeah. If it had Psychic, you would be destroyed. Okay, but it didn't. What kind of argument is that? If it had Sheer Cold and then hit it, I would have been screwed. But like, you know? 
You know? That's easy. Another win. Another win for the books. Earlier you said Blissey is a late game mod. Yeah, but I had it, you know. I just brought it because why not? It was a good backup. God. Reddit boy. Oh, he looks like such a Reddit user. And it's so... It's so funny. Oh, what a funny guy. Yeah, I'm a big Reddit boy fan. Um... Hmm. <sighs> and that's the Iceland's, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Are you feeling good with all your Pokemon to take on Volo? Uh, no, but I don't even know who I am going to take on Volo. Because we're kind of running out of encounters, you know? Kind of what we have is what we get. Uh, we still can, like, grind for Volo, but, eh, we'll see. I might do some grinding off-camera. Uh, we do have Avalug, of course, which Avalug can be scary. But, uh, we'll be fine. Is it gonna be on YouTube? Uh, when it's all said and done, it will be. Yeah, if Braviary had X Accuracy and Horn Drill, you would be screwed. That's absolutely true. I should have played around that. To be fair, I didn't know they didn't have that. Okay. Cool. Oh, and now we can do the Braviary stuff. I mean, the Avalux stuff. I think I'm going to save that for next time. Um, I'm getting a little fatigued, a little hungry. Um, I mean, that was a fun, like, three and a half hour stream. But I think we're going to start tomorrow, and I'll just do the Avalug thing. And after that, I'll just... I'll finish the game tomorrow, no matter how long it takes. I will uh, finish it tomorrow. And then look at this. I'm going to save. Imagine that. Uh, and we are going to raid my beloved friend, Adriana. Because she is playing Split. I just keep uh, raiding people who are doing the Splatfest because I'm not doing it. But what a stream. I could have wrapped up a little better. But uh, I don't know. Uh... We're doing it. We have a lot of mons. I am debating on doing Volo. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it. I'm not doing Volo tomorrow, though, but... I'll beat the game tomorrow. Maybe do Volo later in the week. We'll see. Anyways, goodbye, everybody. Oh, hi, VOD watchers. I accidentally forgot to end the stream. Um, well, now I ended the stream. I haven't ended the recording yet. Um, ooh, that's awkward. <laughs>